Welcome to round one, the series where we play just the beginning of a game to give you a taste of what it's like. In today's episode, we will be playing not one, not two, but all three rounds of Skybound Games' incredibly thematic area control, card drafting, and bag building title, Wonderland's War. The infamous looking glass has been shattered, and the madness that once dominated the landscape has been drained from its inhabitants. Throughout the three rounds of rotating tea parties and war, Alice, the Red Queen, Jabberwock, and Mad Hatter will compete to draft the best cards, complete the most missions, and influence the most regions, all in an effort to ultimately wear the crown and become the new leader of Wonderland. You'll witness every move that we make, and after the dust settles, join us as we discuss our entire experience and find out which of us came out on top. Welcome to the table, or Wonderland as it were. Uh, we are here to try to bring madness back to Wonderland, as you know. Uh, and we're not going to spend a lot of time teaching the game, because we do have a how to play, so check that out if you want to understand all the little details. But Jeremy, our own Mad Hatter here, although he's playing Alice today, uh, but you're the Mad Hatter of Man vs. Meeple. I, you know, I played the Mad Hatter last night. It's a fun character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we're going to give you an overview, but first, we played this game a number of different times. We actually played it almost a year ago and saw a very rough iteration the game has changed quite drastically yeah. however it's still basically the same style of game and it's a really fun game because you play it in two different phases the very first phase is we have a tea party and what we're <laughs> doing is we're moving our characters around the board to collect cards which turn into chips which go into your bag to fuel the second part which is the battle and you do that three times because the game is played over three different rounds and it's really fun because you're building a bag that's unique to your character and then your character has all these special abilities as well which is fun yeah if you think the theme is crazy and mad the game is kind of in my opinion a little bit like if you mashed up a little rising sun and Quacks of Quidlinburg. Yeah, because it has that, that, that chip drawing from the bag and it all has that area control. There are five regions on the board, which are going to give you varying diff uh, victory points throughout the game, depending upon which round you fight in. All right, so we will start playing right now, and we'll kind of talk about the game as we're playing yeah. it. Um, I am playing Alice, and this is the first time I've ever played Alice, and I'm really curious about how she works because her synergies really revolve around her getting some swords. Kind of giving you guys some strategy here and what to prevent me from doing, but I'm going to try to get some of these swords, build up her strength, and do some of the fun things that she does. So the very first thing that happens is I get to move my character during this phase around the board to collect one of these cards. Now, typically, we all move clockwise. So you're going to pick one of these spots, put your character in that spot, take that card, do the action on the card, and then it goes to the next player. However, Alice works differently. This is her special ability. She works counterclockwise around the table. So I'm going to be picking from cards that you guys won't have access to until you, unless you really skip far ahead. So I'm going to take my Alice, and I'm going to move her right. So you're going to snipe some good cards on this side. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of good cards everywhere. Yeah. And that's that's the trick. What do you want to do? Do you want to go heavy with, uh, with character chips? Do you want to do upgrades? What do you want to do? I'm going to move it right here because I really like uh, this upgrade ability. I'm going to take this card. This card says that the first thing I get to do is I get to take two of my supporters and place them on any one of the regions. Now, anytime you have supporters, it's got to be on one region, one region only. I am going to go to here. And the reason why I'm going here is because this gives six points at the very start of the first round. You know what? Everyone's going to go there. I'm going to go here in the pool of tears. <laughs> I'm going to snake two points. Try to. Then I get to do an upgrade for free. This is awesome. I get to take one of my things and put them on any one of these areas. Uh, I'm going to do this one. You're getting right to your strategy. And then I get to remove one of these awful shards. We'll talk about the shards as they come up, but you don't want these. These are bad. <laughs> Which upgrade did you get? Yeah. Uh, I, I got everywhere at once. Don't worry about my upgrades. <laughs> we'll talk about them when Nothing they come out. No. We'll talk about them we when they come out. We want to know what you're already starting to plan it for. Basically, it says at the end of the battle, if I have an active Sword of Hope in my area, I can take Alice and redistribute her somewhere. Nice. Oh. Um, so yeah. this card is one of my four cards that I'm going to draft for the round. Everyone has four cards they're going to draft during the tea party. So I just put this off to the side to note that I've taken a card. Moves the next person clockwise. It's you, John D. With the Mad Hatter. Yeah, who, I, what's your power? Well, so once per tea party, I can take any card out there without moving. Oh, That's so, oh awesome. so she can snipe, really snipe. I can snipe, snipe whatever I want. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to move 
here because I want this forge token. All right. Nice. So and grab then I also get any token I want for that right. while. And in level two token. So it's like yeah. super awesome. Oh. I want a level two flamingo. It's a level two? Yep. No, it's, no, level, it's level one. one. It's I'm level sorry. Okay. I read it wrong. Okay. And then still, you get to place good. one of your supporters on a region. Yep. Uh, I'm going to go here to Red Keep. All right, to the Red Keep. And these go. tokens go straight into your bag because we're going to be pulling from these for our battles. Before Kira goes, you may want to, you may ask yourself, why wouldn't you just pick any card? Well, anytime you make a full circle around, you have to stop on this. And this is the Madness die. And you have to roll this die and get that many shards. So you don't, you may want to go really far to get a card you want, but you're going to have to roll the die. And that's bad because you don't want shards. It could yeah. be bad. It's mostly bad, but it's sometimes there bad. are things. I when I yeah, played last, last night, I actually had a card that would make them positive for me. So That's right. watch out for people doing that. So um, can I see your card? No. <laughs> uh, so hi. Okay. So I've got the red queen, and probably should be stated at this point if you don't know this already from our box on the wall. This is a prototype. It is a prototype. Yes. Uh, but it's a pretty dang. It good is looking a pretty prototype. 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 Pretty. So. Uh, I've got the Red Queen, and her ability, when I choose one of these cards and I get to put my followers out onto the board, I can split them up. I'm the only one who can do that, so that'll be really nice and lets me so kind of spread out. So you break that rule that he I mentioned. I break the rule that Jeremy mentioned, yes. So, uh, actually, I'm going to ask Jeremy, can you please move my Red Queen? Absolutely not. <laughs> to the spot next to the Mad Hatter on this Absolutely side. Absolutely not. This you, one? you sound like the Mad on Hatter. On this side of me. Really? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Into her chair, and I'll take that card, All and right. I'm going to take a two rows. You get a quest. I get a quest. And a supporter. And I get to put a supporter out. Now, You're gonna split I can't up your split, single supporter. I can't split up one supporter, so we'll just do that. And that's that me. That would be something. That's an interesting choice that you made right there. All right, I am the Jabberwock, and my power is Fearsome Maw. I have these delicious little poison chips. These are effectively like the madness chips that we have in our bags. They're, those are bad. Those might make you uh, bust when you're in battles. They'll also eventually accumulate and make you have to sort of refresh your bag. Uh, but these poison can go in, and when I use it, I'm going to be moving around the board taking a card like anyone else, but I get to put a poison chip on the next card. So I could take a card I want, or I could take a card I might not want as much, but placing a poison on a card that everyone else wants. All right. So I am going to move, you know what, uh, Jeremy really liked, mm, mm. I'm going to move all the oh, way it's here. Oh, taking this, oh my gosh. What all is right. that? That's oh, no. two, three rooks. Well, so that's all yours. All right. I'm going to move here and take this card. So I my poison don't have a quest for it this time. Goes here. <laughs> uh, this took this icon right here is the Wonderlandian. So I get to choose one of the three Wonderlandians that we have up over there, and I'm actually going to take the the middle one there, which is the Lock of Unicorn Hair, the Chance one. Now, when you take one of these, you get the Wonderlandian card to remind you what these things do, and you all either get a figure or some chips. I got these chips. They're going to go into my bag. I'll tell you about the unicorn here in a second. The other thing I do is remove a shard. Probably not the greatest card choice for my first turn because I don't have any shards, but I get to put out two guys. So I'm gonna put these two people here, pool of tears. Put this card here, the unicorn hair. This chip gains plus one strength for each type of active chip you have. So when you're drawing your chips, you'll see how that works when I get there. All right, my turn. I am gonna move forward again. Remember, I'm working counterclockwise. I'm gonna move right here. I'm gonna take this, I want a forge token. Forge tokens are great because when these come up during battle, they're gonna allow me to place things on my forge side of the board, which is gonna give me upgrades, basically. This is gonna go in my bag. I'm gonna remove another one of my crystals and place two supporters anywhere I wish. Again, not breaking them up. Um, I, I want to play, you cannot pick, oh, okay. but you could try to pick. I'm gonna go right there, and that's it for me. I think that I'm going to move. Can somebody move me where the two flamingo chips are? Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Nobody get... wants the poison card? Mm. No, of course not. Pass. Goes and go in your bag. Hard pass. Yep. You are going to place two, two supporters. Two. I get to move two of my dudes. So Those... at this point, it would be lucrative for me to go the same place that I've got my other supporters, right? It depends. You want to try to win multiple regions, but also you want to have enough people there where if you draw madness, you're not removing all of your people from that spot. Right. Because you won't get anything if you have nothing there. What the heck? Let's and do you it. get to roll that fun thing. Yeah. Oh, it had that? Yeah, it did. Ha ha! Oh, nice. Very nice. I don't like that. Yeah, no kidding. I have a roll that and get three. So I'm not going to go very far. I'm just going to go to the very next spot. Nice. 
Uh, and I'm going to take this opportunity to talk a little bit about quests because I'm going to get one creature, which these are kind of fun. Uh, they let me... When, when I get one of these out, I get to take the next highest one. Once they get or once they're exhausted. into my exhausted area, I can take the next highest. So there's a one and a five. So they're going to be switching back and forth. So sometimes I'll have a five, sometimes I'll have one. But the most important thing here is that I have a quest. And you've seen me draw now three of these. Whoa. Um, these are another way to get points. And so they can't see. see. But you've got something that need, that you can get points for at the top and a way to double it at the bottom. And you have to do whatever it says at the bottom in order to double it, which typically means being in a certain area for war and choosing to not finish it uh, by stopping at a certain point. So You're done? I am. All right. I am going to truck on over here and take this card right here, which gives me the... Three token of that person there on the end. Zombie, can you reach that? That's, Almost. That's, that's the biggest reach. That's the only reason I chose it, because I wanted to... To make me reach yep. for it. And then I get to put three uh, Very nice. supporters out. So I am going to go... Where are we starting? Oh, right there. Is that it? That is it for me. Do you have to move your to poison token? Uh, yeah, the poison token. So I can take that card now. <laughs> that was effectively here. Oh. Boo. All right, so yeah. this is where you're heading? No, I don't know. Just, just you going to take the poison Hold token? on there. I'm, i got to think some strategy here. That is three supporters. That's a lot of supporters. It is. And a removal of a shard. Yeah, you know, and I'm, a I'm powerful gonna, I'm gonna that. Yeah. soldier guy. Can I have a uh, level? Oh, I can get the level one soldier. Level one soldier is awesome. I'll explain him once he comes up. No need to pause right now. I get rid of my last crystal, and I get to put our shard, and I get to put three guys out. This is a beautiful thing. You've gotten rid of all of your shards in you the know, first round. When I was That's first player, good. I started with three. Yeah, it's solid. Uh, we're going to go right here. That's it. All right. Johnny. I have less of a choice here. I really don't want to have to roll that die again. Yes, you do. No. Yeah, pass. you do. I'll come, come down on. here. I'll get all rid right. of a shard. You are the Mad Hatter. Oh, dang. You get three dot guys of two flower. We're really emptying out the table Can you before get that? we... Here Almost. You go. Three that guys. goes in your bag. Oh, this goes in my bag. And they all have to go the same place. You know what? Let's just come right here and have more dudes than you. That's <laughs> okay, I guess. <laughs> all right. I'm going to circle the table, so if you can just move me back to the die spot. Yeah, so anytime you come back, you have to roll that fun die. Thank you. And we're going to refill all the empty spots, though. So that's Oh. oh. Now you're shards. hoping for that quest card. Did you get that quest card? You better I not have gotten that know. quest card. So when you refill, they go to all the empty spaces only. So you have a lot of choices now, because she does actually get to continue her movement on. I well, do. that is actually kind of cool. I like so, that, especially at that point when there was nothing on the out. board. Where would I like to go is the question. I need to get some Wonderlandians out, so... I'm guessing here, then? Or not Wonderlandians. I oh. need to get more of my supporters out, actually. Although a Wonderlandian three, would be nice. Three and a three. Oh, that's a three and a one. I'm, I'm not trying to mm. help too much because I might want that. Yeah. Card. Or are you I'd trying like to rabbit. direct her there because you this? want her to take it? This? Yep. Mm. And you want? I'll take the rabbit. The rabbit. Please. She gets the white rabbit. And now I can split my guys up again, as I mentioned earlier, and I actually have enough to do it now. So I'm going to do just that. All right. All right. Oh, there's lots more cards now. Mm -hmm. Oh, lots. I know where I'm. G oh, I have to stop. You do I have, have to stop. stop. And well, that's happening. So I might as well just get that out of the way. So this gets filled. Here's how you roll. No, yep. it's not. That is, that is not how you roll. That is the opposite of how you roll. Interesting. Yeah, that was that was horrible. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to move this one right here. Uh, no, right this one since I just got those shards. Upgrade. So, yeah, I get to upgrade. I'm going to choose Claws That Catch. The first time you draw a claw chip in each battle, give a poison chip to all of your opponents. All right. Uh, and then I get rid of a shard. And then I put two people out. I'm going to put them, ooh. I'm going to go down there. You know what? Here, there's some points. <laughs> all right, so I am going to go here, and I'm going to get that forge. Because these are the best That's things That's the other thing ever. I was considering. And I'm going to put three more guys out. I got peeps everywhere. Mm. How about that? And roll the die. Big fat zero. No, 
have to. Plus two. <laughs> Plus two. All right. Well, I'm not going to go far. I want to just go right here. Oh, right just right here? To, yep. And you'll get a three oh. rook and one of these lovely quest cards. Yep. No peeking. Three rook. <laughs> Yay. Man. Right. We're almost done. I've, I've got four cards. You yeah, have four cards. Right. You guys have, each have three. So if I go here, I can get a level one. Is that right? You're I'm going to go there. Rare? Here? Yep. here. Yeah, and level one and a que another quest. Take another Ooh. quest. She's, the problem is she's got a lot of quests, but she doesn't have a lot of chips. Yeah, so not she's yet. not going to win much. I helped, I'm going to use not it this for, round. No. Can you put me Wits End, please? Wits End. Wits End. Yep. Wits End. And Wits I'll end. take a level one Wits. rose. All right, I'll finish off the tea party here. Where am I? I'm right there. Hmm. Uh, I am going to... Ugh. Take the griffin? No, yeah, I am. <laughs> So you get I don't put any guys out, but I get another Wonderlandian. The Griffin's the last one. Level left. one Wonderlandian. Or you get a level one creature. Or uh, ally. And I can get a level one uh, or forge, right? If I wanted. You get a forge. But I'm going to take a level one. Kira, could you reach a level one flamingo, please? All right. So that marks the end of that part of the game. So the, the tea party is over. Now there's two steps that are going to happen. As my fifth action, I actually have to place my leader on one of the different regions. Basically, they're acting as additional strength according to my leader strength chart. I only have one right now, so I am going to go down here because I don't want you just to oh. win that by yourself. That seems not fair. I think <laughs> it would have been fine. So that is my leader. Where do you want to put your Mad Hatter? Well, I'll come over here. Here? No. Here? Yes. <laughs> I'm just no, with you. Yeah, no. totally you made, with yeah you. but you made me rethink what I wanted to do. All so. right. What about you and your so Queen? So I was actually mistaken. We should have put these out when we yes. drafted them. So I would have put it in Wits End. Okay. And that's where I'll put my Queen as well. Oh, whoa. So you're oh, red. You got a okay. bunch of red over here. I got my blues. Got some purples. Oh, and I would have put my, yeah, I would have put my Griffin there with my two guys. So we got supporters. We have leaders. We have all of our, uh, oh, yeah. yes. I'll put him there too. Oh, thank you. All right, so now we have to do the shards. Now, how shards works is we're going to look at the player boards and see whoever has the most. Kira, you have four. You get to lose half of those, which is the fantastic Rounded up part. Too. Rounded up, too. So but I then take we extra. each take uh, madness tokens. We each take one. However, the person that had the most takes two. So you took two. You take one. You take one. That's me. Me take one. And you take one. These go in your bag. And now we're going to start the combat portion of the game. Now how this works is Kira's going to draw the top quest card. On the bottom of that quest card, you're going to see a name of one of the five regions. What is it? Meadow of the Living Flowers. All right. So we're going to move this marker there. That's going to go on the bottom of the deck. This is where combat's going to happen. And each of the players that has representation in that area is going to simultaneously draw one chip from their bag and reveal it at the same time. And this is kind of the push your luck element of the game. We're going to keep going until all the people have either busted or stopped. And we'll explain that as we go. So who do we have in there? Not me. I'm in there. I'm in there. I'm also in there. Everyone but you. All right. So everyone draw. And reveal. All right. Okay. So I'm going to explain this uh, a couple times as we go through. Then we'll just start doing it naturally. You have two power. So we're going to move that up too. Each of these chips is going to have a strength on it. You have... I have one, but it's a unicorn hair, which also counts as a type. Yeah. So it's the one for the chip plus the one for the type. He wants to draw those later in the battle, so that's unfortunate for you. And what did you draw? I got a madness chip. All right, so we have madness now. This is the whole crux of the game. Anytime you draw madness, you have a choice. You can either just take the madness and lose one of your supporters from the area, or you can use your shield. When you use your shield, you can break it and prevent that madness from happening. That madness chip's going to go back in your bag, and you're gonna redraw a new one to replace it. So you don't want to lose supporters because once you're out of supporters, you're out of the region. You get nothing. You know, so no matter what you've done that round for your active chips, you get nothing from it. What do you want to do? Do you want to it's pretty early? Your guy? It's really early, it and I know that there's early. still a madness chip that can take two guys. So I'm I'm just gonna lose, lose them. All yep. right. So All one right. of her supporters comes back. Round two. Who? Now, you, now, just to preface this once again, everyone's reaching in the bag and pulling a chip or faking it. You can actually just reveal nothing in your hand. And then you're out. And then you're, you're done. Out. You're out. Go. Oh. oh. 
She drew something great. So these two drew uh, madness, madness chips. You remove a supporter. You remove a supporter. She drew the flamingo, which moves her up one space. And it also means the next chip she draws is double. Oh. So you want to draw your three outs, which would be a six. That would, that would be awesome. <laughs> Try really hard to draw your three. I'll see out. what I can do. Let me show you how it's done. All right. Go. That is That's good. sort of how it's done. So you get to one power. David gets one power. Yeah. You get four power. Okay, so now we'll stop here real quick and just notice something. If you decide just to pull out of the battle, there are spots on these locations of this power to our strength track that allow you to forge for free. So there are times in the game when you just want to stop because you want to start putting things on the right side of your board to be able to get additional abilities to the game. So you can stop right now and fake it or you can just keep going. You're winning. I'm going to keep going. You have to tell me you're keep going. I'm going to keep going. Maybe. Maybe. Going. Maybe not. You won't know until she opens her hand. All right. Oh, 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 quitter, quitters. Here's right. why. Well, hold oh. on. Well, let's, let's do the power first. One, two. You're out. You're out. What do you got? I have a quest that I'm going to now say I'm going to work towards. I get double points because I'm stopping with exactly two or six chips while there. In that location. I only have two active chips, so I'm stopping, and at the end of the game, I'll get one VP for each non forged chip on my forge tracks over here. Yeah, so these quests, uh, they're all secret at the start of the game. You keep them in your hand, but once you meet the requirements, they're face up because they double the ability of them. Yeah, it's really cool. You kind of juice them up. Um, so you have to, I mean, you guys are tied right now. If you want to win straight out and put a, a keep there, you're going to have to draw again. You're the only one available. But once you win, the round's done. And I'm on the forge? Yeah. Otherwise, we're going to split it, though, right? You want to draw. I, I do, but I'm on that forge. Mm. I am going to draw. Just get a three. I'm gonna, just get a three? Okay, yeah. like Johnny. All right. Go. Boom. All right. You're one ahead now. That's not a three. No, mm -hmm. it is still a one. three. And it is kind it's of a, a wasted flamingo. But you, but you have to stop now because you've won. Yeah, yeah. All right. So battle number one of five is done. Uh, what's going to happen here is number one, you won the region. So you're going to take one of your castles yep. and put it on that spot. Those are worth three points at the end of the game unless you have multipliers or additional points at the bottom. Number two, you're going to get points. You won, so you're going to get six points. Yeah, where is... Can you... Uh, I can give it to you. Distribute the points. I am green. All right. Off to the lead. Then we determine second place. Second place is Kira, and you divide those in half. Yep, three so points. So three points. And you are red. All right, so that is the end of that particular combat. Correct. Now we just move clockwise. To the next location. So just David and I this time. Man, I want to be in a fight. Yeah, you can. You're doing a, fight. a splendid round uh, way narrating. So just keep that up. All right. Oh, and these are all going to be exhausted. They are exhausted. Those go down. All of your madness chips that you drew during the round stay on the board. I still got my shield. Can... You got your shield. You Everyone has their shield. All right. Are we ready? Go. Oh. Madness. Uh, all right. So this will reset. I'm gonna take it. One for Kira. Lose a supporter. Kira's looking through her 9,000 quests savoring over there. her quests. Hmm. Okay. And... Do I have a chip in my hand, Kira? Or do I not? I don't know. Go. All right. Three. Because she got another quest. Yes. Oh, my. That's uh, all right. I'm just putting castles out. I'm stop good. when my final active chip is a faction chip, which it is, in the woods. I will get half a VP for each creature rose trip rounded up at the end of the game. All right, so Kira, you dropped out because you wanted to stop to get that quest. So that means, again, you win. I'm, I'm fine. Crazy. I'm fine with this. Yeah. Everyone just keep doing this. Kira, do all the quests you want. I'll just, well, this is going to be a different well, so story. Well, let's I think. score it. Though. Yeah, four points for you. So, oh my gosh, David, you're already at 10. You get second place and you get two more. Chips exhaust. This is awful, yeah. All your chips are going to exhaust. Neither of us were on a forge okay. mark. No. Uh, no. This will go. Now and... I get to narrate because I'm finally not in a battle. Hey, all right. And it's I didn't me say and Jeremy. You can narrate my battle. <laughs> all right. Fine. No, you can fine. You narrate. All right. So you now. Tell it's us when to pool. David the, versus the, the, it's the, Alice versus the Jabberwock. Pool of tears. This is a this is and a three. Reveal. I don't have any threes. Oh. All right. I get that unicorn hair first again. 
It is two. worth two, though. So. Yep. so, David, you're green, one, two, and I have a one, but I got one on my forge, and that's exactly what I wanted to get. All right. All right. Chip number two. Oh, yeah. Oh, David's out. Because, Kira. He's got a quest. I've got a quest. The sorrowful quest. <laughs> Stop on a forge symbol in the Pool of Tears, which I did. So I've completed that quest. It's going to give me one VP for every Wonderlandian card and unlocked faction ability ah, at the end well, of the game. Well, isn't that handy? Boom. You need to snag those Wonderlandians. Man. This is like the worst case scenario for me. Well, actually, give me two of those now. So, oh. Jeremy, if you want to win, you have to keep going. That is true. Oh, I do? Yes, because he You're is behind. Oh, ahead yes. of you. Yes, that is actually the best yeah. case scenario for me. Because I don't want to forge my forge. Oh, did you just pull this? I don't want to forge Madness? my forge, yeah. yeah. Forge your forge. I don't that, forge that, my forge. There should be shirts that say that. Oh, oh. It looks like you are forging So now you're tied. Twice. <laughs> well, you're tied, so this move like yourself up one on the strength track. And then... Do you want to win outright? Well, yes, but I... Oh, wait, hold on. I had to forge both of my forges. You're a... <laughs> Did I say the word? No, I don't think so. Not in Wonderland. You know what? I'm going to stop. I win, right? No, I don't win. No, you don't win. Oh, my gosh. All right. What do you got? Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Loses a guy. This a is, supporter. This, oh, it would be a beautiful thing. I have people in the peanut gallery laughing at me right now. You have a yep. guy right next to you laughing at you. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Loses another Another supporter. Madness. All right. All right. So Can he works. get it done? Maybe, but if you draw another you one, you get to refresh your stuff. That's true. Really early that you oh, don't have a lot of stuff to case. refresh. So oh. he wins. I get to forge three times, though. Oh. So you wow. get... But I would forge my three away. And your two forges. <laughs> All right. No, Let's go we'll ahead do and it. get you... I'm, I'm going to play loose. Oh, yeah. Whoa. I'm going to get two points. Two points. David gets... One. One. Uh, Can you give me one point? Yeah. Thank you. Uh -oh. Whoa. I'm going to run forge away. My and forge. now he'll forge. So forging, we haven't really rid. talked a ton about. Yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm taking all the chips. I look at all of my active chips up here, and I decide what I want to pull down into this side of the board. And I get to forge three times. Why three? I have one, two, and then I'm on a forge symbol, so three. So I get to take all three of my chips and use them. But I have to get rid of my forge chips and my three Alice, which isn't a great idea, but my whole strategy is revolves around this, so I have to try it. So number one, I'm going to go here, remove this. I'm going to go here, remove this, get this chip, put it in my bag, and then take my last one and put it here and move up her power. So I've got news. So that goes straight into your bag. Yeah. I get to forge as well because I ended on a forge symbol. You do. Uh, now, I wouldn't normally maybe recommend forging with one of these. But I'm going to because they haven't really helped me out thus far. Yep. I'm going to go down here since I already have two castles out. I'm just going to get a few more points from my castles down there. Very do nice. That. All right. Okay. Uh, so, so that's the end of that battle. we're at wit's end. So in wit's end, it's myself. It's not me. John D. and Jeremy. I'll narrate. Great. I want to bust. You want to bust. I uh, oh, I mean, not you, bust, you but wanna I want to refresh. refresh. I got a lot of people there, so I'm good. Jeremy's, okay, go Even for it. Even if he it. refreshes, he has nothing to put back. Well, All right, so remove. now, remind the creatures. Let's, oh, this I pulled the creature and I need to remind myself what they do. They, okay, so at the end, I'll get to yeah, switch. They're yeah, one. yeah, yeah. they're just a so one. So you're one, how many did you draw? Two. Two, Two. Four. and she drew. I drew a row, so, so I get end. one VP at the end of the battle. Yeah, if you didn't bust, then it's right. in your active. Everyone going to go again? Yeah. Will there be empty hands? I don't think so. I'm going to say I don't think there's going to be any em empty hands. Oh, did you just do that to prove me wrong? Uh, no. Oh, I have course. a quest. quest. Of course you do. Where when I stop, my final active chip has a base strength of one in wit's end. I'll get a half a VP for each red rook or rose chip rounded up. And I also have my rabbit there. So when the battle is over, uh, I can draw two chips, which is now. So, and then I can play them if I want or return the rest to the bag. So, <laughs> this allows me to keep that and I can put this back. So and then I'll go up one and I'm going to get to forge and twice. I still you get to forge twice. I get to forge twice. Wow. Fabulous. All right, we're going again. If so, you you're out. I'm out. Okay, let's see what you got, guys. A two Ooh. and a one and a forge for John D. 
so Johnny goes up one, then you move her? No, nope, she should be at four. Three. Well, I could have used him earlier. <laughs> Did you move John D up as well, her one? We went uh, one. Jeremy's just, he's just I'm worried about himself myself. up. He's She's just, worried about everyone myself. else is at zero. See, now I'm on a forge, so if I, hmm. Yeah, I know. Those you are very twice. attractive, especially if you have some they chips are. that you could, don't mind culling. Hmm. Listen to those chips in the bag. We ready? All right. Go. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> you dropped it. Got so nothing. Jumping. Now my flamingo is completely wasted. Oh, yeah, because it won't I can't flamingo that. a rook. Otherwise... That's another shirt slogan. Flamingo, flamingo a rook. Flamingo a rook. Yeah. yeah. I'd wear that. Okay. Are you, you guys have got well, a lot of chips. John, you've got five. Two. Oh, you pulled a madness is why. It must have been yeah. right. Did you give her her three, though? She should be. Uh, no, it should, it should be. be. See, we, I, you got to watch. Oh, you're you gotta watch another, me. You're you another me. forge. I'm at six, eight, nine, ten. I should be at ten. All righty. All what happens next? What's she gonna do? I'm gonna draw. I'm, kind I'm of surprised secretly I hoping that you guys lose well, you only have supporters, one and I somehow man magically. Oh. oh, I feel a shield coming I'll on. Lose, maybe. No, I yeah. want to lose. No, them. not you. My her guys yeah. back. I oh, no. Wait a minute. Do you want a shield? You lose two. Yeah, but I have nothing to put back into my pool. That's the worst. Oh, the you worst possible time. I have to shield it because. Um, now is not the time. <laughs> and John, John D. Shield also. So yep. you're both effectively drawing again for that draw. Yes. Great. All right. Well, look at that. Uh, Woo now, I could have used these in reverse, and then I, that would have been a six. That so would have helped been helpful, yes. It would have been a lot more helpful. Oh, look. Jeremy's learning. He moved you up, too. Very nice. Tide, what happens next? You guys cannot have very many left in bum, the bag. Bum. It gets tense when yeah. you're pulling these chips. Yep, go ahead. Oh, Shoulders, okay. Another su Oops, two supporters. Two supporters are Ooh. gone. Ooh. Keep going. How many does she have left there? One. Uh, I can't um, believe you exited the battle so early. Going. Like this, this is thing. still the same battle you, you were in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I told the two. truth. So. You've got so many supporters there. I know. But he has to all these go back. Just put all the bad back in his bag. That's fine. That's fine. Sure. All right. And she finished, right? She's done, so that's it. Yeah, that's so it. You so win I get battle. and I get one VP for the rose. You yep. get one VP. So all right, you are purple. Uno Moss VP. I'm gonna get two victory points. She's gonna two. Get, she'll get another I one for half of that, here. right? Um yeah, you get a victory point. Did I win this? I won that too, right? So I would put a castle there. Ah, yes. Uh, and now I right. get to forge. You get to forge. That is correct. I do not get to forge. In the battle, if you have active. I will go up a leader. Very mm, nice. Nice. All right. So then the last battle, you guys exhaust your chips, and we will be down in the red keep. Oh, and this oh. is just Alice versus your supporters, John. Yep. yep. I know. You're right. All right. Ready? Yep. Mm. Forge token. All right. One move up and one. one. All right. Bum, this is going to be a slow bum. moving battle. It is. There's not a lot of people battle. there. You've got three supporters. He's got Alice. And we've both exhausted a lot of chips. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but how oh. strong is Alice? Well, that's because one that would have moved up his. Would you move? What you got there? I've got, I got a madness. She's a two. Oh, you're moving. So one. he should actually be up one more. Oh, that's true. Two. Alice is two. Alice is two. Yeah, I don't do that till the end, right? No, you do that right off oh, the bat. Oh, okay. So I'm at four. Well, that's right. unfortunate. Forge token. Oh, one you more. went empty? I went empty. So sh you'll have to keep going if you want to win, or you can just say, I'm done. I would like to stop. Oh, someone's <laughs> nice. got a quest card. Boom. If I stop on a forge symbol in red keep, then I get to unlock. I will get one VP for each each strong ally chip, and strong is the level two chips. Nice. Ah, and you'll oh. double that because you have it face up. Cool. All right, so that's that battle. I'm going to gain four victory points. So I'm going up to eight. You're going to get two victory points, so you go up to four. I get to put another keep in this area. You get to forge mm. twice because you, you have one there. Once there, and I get to forge 
Once. 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 <laughs> Once. Once. I'm going to go here. She's going to move her up mm. to a three. Now, we may forge. Unlock. We don't have to forge. You don't have right? to forge. Yeah, it's an interesting decision because you're getting rid of chips to do it. All right. All right, so that marks the end of the very first round of play. We're going to do that twice more. At the end of a round, what's going to happen is all the chips that we have in our exhausted pile are going to go back into our bag. That's number one. All the Wonderlandians that are out there are going to stay out there. They're going to be in that territory along with our supporters going into the next round. So you're going to either have to move them or find something else to do with them. And you'll make that decision later. All the leaders that we have are going to go back to the tea party. So all of your leaders are going to go back to the tea party. And we're actually going to wipe the board of all of these cards. They're going to have a second deck of cards, which become more powerful as you play. And you're going to get three new Wonderlandians. So if all three of them ha weren't drawn during that first round, those would typically wipe and you get three new ones. And then we're going to start a new round with the first player being the player that is in last place. And that's going to be John D with four points. David, you're in first place with 11 points. Uh, the first For round felt pretty good. I mean, all of us did some some cool stuff. You got a lot of points. I have three castles on the she board. She unlocked is, a million quests. She got three quests unlocked, which is ridiculous. Yeah, it is interesting. We've all done quite a bit of different things. I only got two castles, but I was feeling good about that until you got your three. Yep. All right, so uh, we're going to pause for a moment, and we're going to go right into round two. All right, so welcome back. That was the conclusion of round one. We're going to go directly into round two. Uh, and as we stated previously, the first player of the next round is always the player in last place, and that is you, Mr. Mad Hatter. We're all mad here. I am going to stop here at this first spot. Oh, a three upgrade. Very brief and a level trip, one. trip. Yep, because his powers are pretty awesome. So. All right, so you're leveling up your... I'm going to level up piping, piping hot. hot. What's piping hot? Do I have to tell you? <laughs> <laughs> I gain one strength for each chip on my madness track. Oh, mm. interesting. Did on you use cups. that before? I didn't no. use that one. Oh, interesting. So it's just on teacups, but just, still. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, and you get a level one of your I choice. Do. Uh, what do the card soldiers do again? They allow you to take something from your exhausted and put it back into your bag, or they just give you plus Ooh. one strength. I will take the level. Can, can you reach? Yeah, that? I can. Reach oh, it's that. a choice. It's just a level. Yeah, it's one. a wild, a level one. Nice. All right, Kira. Hmm. Where are you going? Thinking. I'm thinking. Who goes on the seat? Uh. Yeah, Mr. Oh, tough decisions round and right round here. She goes. I think I'd I like know where to she's go. Going. I know where she's going. Too. I know where she's going. Yep. Tell me, where do you think no, I'm going? No, go right here. No, why did you right tell there. her? Now she's not going to go her. there. No, I'm actually going to go to this one. This? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Really? Yeah, I don't know about that. And I'm going to take a mm. level three flower. Mm. And I'm going to put out two supporters. And mm. I need to put those supporters. Oh, John D's was zero Mine supporters. Mine was zero. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, let's split them up a little bit. Why mm. not? Nah, we'll put them both here for now. Okay. All right. I'm just going to go right here and take this card. So one supporter. One supporter and a six and a three okay. of the red rook. I'll put my one supporter. Oh man, I'll put it down there. Okay. Can you put that yep. down there, brother? Roll the die. Yes, unfortunately. Oh my, come on now. That's a beautiful thing. I need that quest card, Kira. Mm. For shards. All right, I am gonna move Alice counterclockwise because she's cool like that. I'm gonna put two supporters on the board. My two supporters are going to go right down yeah and i'm going to collect a wonderlandian can you give me the walrus dang and the mm -hmm. walrus i really is... wanted that guy i was walrus take is the going walrus. right down there with him he goes out immediately what's oh, the walrus do uh don't worry about it. And he's putting down here <laughs> uh well. he if i win the battle i get three victory points and he's plus two that's so not bad he's just pretty good a fun little dude okay back to john d or the hatter rather i'm gonna go down here yep, yep. All right, so you're getting that card. You get one supporter. One supporter is all I get. You get a two and three rows, right? Yes. All right, there you go. Put those in your bag. Well, I don't have a, I don't have castle anywhere, so. All right, and roll the die. Ah. Two. Has anyone rolled a blank yet? I yeah. did. Mm -hmm. She's very oh, first you one. did. Very first okay. one, yeah. All right. What you got, Kira? Decisions to be made. I, hmm. Hmm, curiouser. 
and curious. I'm going to go here, upgrade my leader strength, and take a level one rose and put out two supporters. And I will put them here. Okay. Ooh. The deed. I'm going to go right here. Take this card here. I don't put anyone out, but I get rid of two shards. And I take two quests and pick one, please. I mean, uh, I'll pick it, not you, Kira. Okay. You sure? I'm pretty sure. She'd pick you a good one, maybe. <laughs> I doubt that very much. All right, I'm going to go to the next one and take another Wonderlandian. Saw that coming. Well, you guys left them open. Two supporters. It doesn't really matter where I place them because of stuff. And I'm not going to tell you about. That's okay. Go there. Take the helpful for everybody back at Tweedle's home. bow tie. Well, I got to keep some strategy to myself. It's true. Oh, it's true. You I, can't I, tell I us everything. I figured you were going to take those two, just staring you in the face. Those mm -hmm. wonderful it's hard not to. And they do something fun. No, yeah. Johnny, what are you thinking? They do Flamingos. Fun. Flamingos for Johnny. Flamingos for Johnny. Sounds One like of a each. Mo a movie name. All right. She'll have oh. to roll the die. Did you get her the uh, flamingos? Yes. Yeah, David's handing them out. There you go. Three. No, zero. One. I split the difference. Well done. All right. Kira, okay. how many cards do we have? Just two? Kira's got to go here. I do. So hand me the die, please, while that. you're doing that. I'll do the Roll a three. Oh. oh, blank. I want the blank. Huzzah. Hmm. Now where are you going to go? That's you've a got, good question. You've got all sorts of new options. No. Hmm. Uh, I don't know, honestly. Know. Yep. Yep, I knew you. More quests. That's good. More quests. All right, so two of my supporters will go out, and they will go to Wits End, please. Wits End. I'll draw this, and I will draw peeps. one of these. Got peeps everywhere. Hmm. I'm going to go right here and take a Forge token. And. I'll take another level one. Uh, flamingo? You guys in your yes, flamingos. Yes, yes. All right, so my turn. Oh, and uh, I need to put my poison token oh yeah. out on the next oh, card, yeah. which I didn't do last time, but I don't think it affected anything. I'm going to go all the way around. I don't need castles. I'm going to get a forge token. Get rid of these. And some negative plants I got rid of. And I get to put one dude on the board. My last guy. Pick a number, one through five, Kira. Go. Three. All right. Oh, wow. Is. Let's see how that works out for me. It's actually where I kind of wanted it to go. I'm not going far. I'm going to go for the creature. Right here? Yep. I get to get rid of two shards. And three supporters. Can you pass well, this down, I please? needed those supporters. Three shards. Uh, that's yours. Trade me. Or not. Mm. <laughs> um, let's see. So three, three guys. Uh, Supporters, guys, dudes, meeples. Supporters. They're Wonderland people supporters. Go down there. Okay. Let's pool see. of tears? Yes, the pool of oh, tears. Oh, it's going to be a party here. Hmm. Or a bloodbath. Or a bloodbath. And then oh, sometimes oh, that can be viewed as a party. All right. I am thinking. This is your last card, Kira. I am going to. Where are you even? Here. No. I'm going to head here. Mm, castle. And this allows me to upgrade one of these, which I will do. I may lose one supporter. Actually, no, I take that back. I'm not doing this one. I'm going to refresh oh, the row. Oh, boy. Already in hand. I'm going to refresh right. the row. So right. go ahead and give me the die. You got it? Yep. I'll do this. No shards. What? That's twice in a row. No kidding. I call. Cheat. Shenanigans. Shenanigans. All right. And you refilled it. Mm. Ooh, tough decisions. Oh, fantastic! I'm going to have that as my new friend. If you can move my queen here, and I will place that friend down in. Well, he has to get placed immediately yep. down in the red keep, please. Okay. Thank you. And you get to move one guy. You don't have any guys to place on the board, but you want to. But I do get to remove a shard. Yeah. And I don't have anyone to place your right, so I could move one, and I will move. There. 
So again, let's make All sure. All right. Who's Humpty Dumpty? Who's who's got Humpty Dumpty? You do. That's a walrus. Right? That's a walrus. Oh, a walrus. That's me. You've That's got me. that is the walrus. That stays with me. No one is Humpty Dumpty yet. Yeah, that looked like Humpty right. Dumpty, but he's not Humpty he Dumpty. He does. He's your turn. Well, from the back, My turn. maybe. From the front, he's very clearly uh, a walrus. You know what I'm gonna do? Mm. I'm gonna go here. Okay. And I'm just gonna place out a castle. Uh, where are my castle tokens? One, two. Uh, you In know hindsight, what? I should have grabbed that card. <laughs> I'm gonna place my castle token right here. And I have to roll the shard die. Any guesses? Three. Three. Thanks, guys. <laughs> One. Um, all right, so for my last turn, I'm going to go here, roll this. And we need to So I can't this. lose. Yeah. That's the last turn anyway. And so. that one. Yeah. That's fine. Pick of my choice. Pick of my choice. Oh, and my poison needed I to move want here. To go here uh, displace two guys or move two guys remove one of these upgrade uh, if you know my return two nice. active allied chips to my bag that could be ginormous all right and then I get to move or displace two guys to <laughs> down there there you go that makes the most sense in this area all right so that's the end of the tea party. We take yes. our fifth turn where we place our yeah, leaders. Yeah, so you're first. You take your leader and you place them somewhere. And I'll give you your leader. You tell me where you want Mr. Mad Hatter to go. Let's go down there. Pool of Tears. She's got plans for the All Pool right, of Tears. All right, you are purple, so we'll keep him with the purples. All right. I'm going to head to the Red Keep. To the Red Keep. It's the only one of yours there, right? Nope. I have the Dormouse there as well. Oh, the Dormouse and oh, that are yours. Oh, interesting. Okay. Interesting. I, too, am going to go to the Red Keep. Uh, the Red Keep. And you are green, so yep. go with the green. Alice. Where do you want to go, Alice? Let's make You're Alice talking to yourself, go. Yeah. I am talking okay. to No, I'm talking to the audience. Oh. Audience, where do you want me to put it? I'm going to put it here. That's where they told me to go. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, no, we have to do uh, the, uh, so at the start. Oh, the shards. Uh, yep. Who has the most? David. I you have lose four. Two. Oh, really? That's you, you lose two. You get two of those in your bag. Kira, you get one. Yeah, yeah. I get one. You get one. And. Now there, uh, yeah, we, we, we did fail to do this in the first and second round now. Oh, no, we yeah. Didn't. We're the, supposed to do this at the very beginning yeah. before we place uh, our Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I don't think it would have pool changed of tears. my... Pool of tears. Sorry. Well, I guess it depends on when you want that resolved. All okay. right. Are we ready to start? We are. Yes, it's going to start in the starting. pool of tears. I have a guy there. Everybody's there. You have one guy? Wouldn't it be I'm funny? Gonna, I'm going to stop at one. Wouldn't it be funny? I don't want to win this. I want my guys. We're Everyone all in? ready? All in? Yep. Oh, this is no oh, good. Forge my forge again. You know uh, what? That's actually that's really good. That's going to make me lose two right, guys. So I'm Blue shielding is one. Them. So I get three, please. One. You are one. Kira is three. Oh, I start at, I start at yes, three. Yes, let's let's re-go re back through that because oh, yeah. I'm going to start at three because of my... No, I, You're my not guy's there. not there. Nope. Who's there? You're there. Yep. I am. Man, I start at strength. three. Okay. You start at three. One, two, three. Now we'll add all of our chips. Kira... You go to three. I'm David, red. Uh, yep, David, you go to I had to, to re-pull because I had mm, madness. Okay, re-pull for you. One. So, one. And I go to one. Now we're ready. All right. Oh, those ready? are my two madness. I want something really junky right here. Really junky. That works. All right, so I'll start with me. One, two. You have one. Kira. Three. Three again. I one, have another two. one. All right. What are you thinking about, Jeremy? I'm, I'm thinking about my life and if I've made good <laughs> life decisions. <laughs> All right. I'll answer. Right. <laughs> oh. Two. Oh. One, two, three. You got three. three. So one, two, three. Two. Two. One, two. I got three. One, two, three. Yeah. I say go with it. Yeah. I am going with it. One. Oh, that ain't, I'm going to use my shield. Doing. And I'm going to read it. I can't. I used my shield, so I'm losing what you have? a supporter. The card. So you can put uh, one of these uh, back into here or make him a two. 
Uh, I'll make it a two. All right, so two for purple, one, two. What do you have? Uh, nothing, so you're going to go ahead and redraw. I did already, oh, and this okay. is what I redrew. Oh, really? Yes. What about you? I just ran with my madness. Okay. All right. No! The bow tie. This one? would have been handy. I two. busted. What do you have? One for yep. purple? What do you have? One. One? I busted. You're out? I'm, I'm out. Oh. Okay. I wasn't really vying too much for that, but I, I probably could have left my chips in there. Ready? Everyone, ready? Yep. Go. No, I'm out. And this is a two. I'm making a two. One, two. What do you have? It'll be two. Because of the flamingo. So you're purple. Mm. Yeah. I just moved you two. I would go two as well. Because uh, I have a two. You're out. You busted? Yep. Oh, All you right. busted. All right. Welcome to the busting club. Hmm. This is where this is the first battle where this has happened. I went out, you went out, it's down to the two of you. Oh, and you're still both alive. And the creature. One. Creature just yeah, when I one. exhaust a chip, I get to do a thing. Yeah. So one. One mm -hmm. and one for both of you? Mm-hmm. And how close are you to Oh, neither of you are very close. <laughs> and you've got well. You haven't pulled one yet? Not yet. And you can ignore it because you're a little... Okay, my, yeah. Oh. There it and is. And ignore away, sir. So that goes up here. And that goes down there. But it goes back in. All right. <laughs> I'm going up three. I'm... <laughs> stop. You're gonna stop? I think I've got to, or maybe not. No, or maybe not. Do one more. Ah, oh, you stopped. stopped. All right. Okay, so a couple things happen here. Number one, you win the region, so you get to place a castle there. Yeah, so, I finally get a castle. All right, and you're gonna get six points. So six for purple. So I'm you're going not up in to last ten. place anymore. I'm gonna get three <laughs> points, so I go up to eleven. Now we get to do our forge. So well, and also I have roses out. You do, but you. Uh, which one? She busted. So, so I don't. Oh, she doesn't get busted, anything. You get nothing. And yeah. I also and don't get to forge, forge. Correct. Right. That's awful. Ouch. That and was you busted bad. as well. So yes, we it get was. to forge. forge. You get to forge one, two. That's it. I get to forge one, two as well. So I'm going to move this here. Busting is rough. It's going to mm -hmm. move her up to a four, and I get this into my bag, and that's one. Number two. Is I'm going to move this down to here for my second forge, and I'm going to enact my power, which says at the end of battle, if you have an active sword of hope, you may move Alice to a different region. So Alice is going to come over here, and she's going to go right into this region. That's eight points. Right. No, she's going to go here. Okay. I think Jeremy wants to win. I what do you think? I do I want to win. Uh, so one silver lining to our busts is that we did get to. Uh, re up our shield. Indeed. After battle, if you do not bust, I can return two active chips to my bag. So before they go to exhausted, I get to return two of them. Two active chips. I know, active what type of chips? Active al ally chips. You're yes, right. ally chips. All so right. This gets exchanged for one, the level two now. That's not an ally chip. So, so these it's going to be. Or, oh, yeah. That's, yeah, a, yeah, that's yeah. a Wonderlandian. Okay. All right, so these stay down here. All right, so that's it for that region. Correct. Now we're going to move right here. To Wits End. Wits End. And that is me. Nobody for me. John D. I'll narrate. And the Red Queen, dressed in red. Is everyone ready? The real Red ready? Queen. True. And reveal. One. All right. Or I can move a guy back. I'm going to move a chip. This is any chip, right? When drawn, yep. any, any chip I'm going to move my down. sword back because that's, that's how my good. this is how those my engine is going to work. I, I kind of dig those guys. So we're going to reset this number one. So mm -hmm. I go up one. John, do you have to go up one. one? One, two, two for the Red Queen. Don't bust with your roses. Right. <laughs> Thanks, David. You got a lot of roses. Boom. Oh, there it is. Wow. He pulled his sword. 
Now, so can a flamingo one, two, three. flamingo a flamingo? Yes. So yes. this is worth two points to you. <laughs> I think that's so a Dr. One, Seuss book. <laughs> and one. Can a so flamingo. I drew my sword again. Flamingo a flamingo. Something about a wood chuck, chucking wood. Right. Bam. Mm. Oh. 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 Is that oh. your double too? It yeah. is. Oh. If I don't even put have. Put your sword down as a. Oh, I don't go. have two supporters to so remove. So you shield so. it. So you got to redraw. I am. I'm you didn't redraw. redraw. You just went with your. You took the supporters out. I did. Three again. And I got two. Uh, one, two. What'd you get? Your uh, I. She, she just ran took with. it. So you have, ran away. Oh, you don't have anyone left. Nope. Oh, so She's yeah, you out. busted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You and I? Mm-hmm. Forge token. And after your flamingo, flamingoed your flamingo. I know. <sighs> I'll take one of my supporters, please. Take one of your supporters. Yes, yeah, so oh, I, you I, took a, I drew madness. Well, you're close to and the how setting. Much, I'm it wouldn't be bad for you. I know. Eight. I'm but. At eight. What are you at right now? Five? Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Okay. Ready? All right, so All we're both right. out. Except, what? What? Oh, what? I have the white rabbit in the area, which means I get to draw two more. And oh. I can choose whether or not to place them. That's sneaky. They're going to be both crap. Oh. They're not. They're not. They're not. <laughs> not. No. I'm oh, going to go they're ahead. Definitely not. And place both of them for another five, please, which puts me up to 10. Oh. Okay. Somebody didn't win. So you're going to win the region. Give me your castle. I will. And that I'm going to get an additional rabbit. two points for my roses. All right, so two for red, one, two, and then another six points, so at 13. I'm going to get half of that, which Man. is three, so I'm going to move up to 14. Then we're going to, is that all you have? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, all these are going to go down, except I have my ability once again. So I'm going to put this back in my bag, because that's my awesomeness. Is that an ally chip? Yep. Uh, at the end of battle, if you have an active thing... Um, all right. And you could forge twice. And I can forge twice, yes. If you want to. I'm going to forge I have to say I forge. wanted to forge, but... It's a hard decision. You, like, you that really want to forge. That made me win the area, and I need to get some castles out. Which so is going to give me my, my last castle. upgrade. Oh, look at that. Jeremy so and the upgrades. All my upgrades are out. All right, so these are going to come back down. Reset the strength track. Reset the strength track. All right. We're now going we to the, the red, red keep. keep. Red keep, I've got. I oh, start with two strength because of my leader. One, and two. I get to name an ally type because of my Dormouth that has plus two strength for me in this battle. Let's see what I have out already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be hard now. Your roses are. That's tough. That's a tough call, but I'm going to say roses. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Uh, I have a strength of one there with my. Jabberwock. All right, we ready. One, two, three, go. All right, so we'll start with Kira every time. You have a. I'm going to do my shield she and redraw. Has, so madness. go ahead and redraw. I, yeah, I'm gonna let her do that. One for red. A one. One for, for green. green. Did you start with one in the region? No. Yes, I you should have two okay. now. And you got one. one. All right, round dose. I have one quest. One, two, three. Wait, hold on. Go. Aww. There we go. Yep. All right, so Kira, you lost yep, someone. So you have no supporters everything. in that area, but you're going to have to lose one of these, and it's going to have to be your, your little Dormouse guy right. there. Which, <laughs> which means, means your ability is gone now. My plus, my plus two on the roses, and I obviously don't get the strength because he's no longer there. Yeah. Boo. David, you're going to move up to four. Yep. But I have a fresh gonna, bag. Uh, I you lost. Do? I lost uh, one of my supporters. Oh, so you still have two, though. You're yep. good. I should, move, I should be at five. So this is four plus the one I had to begin with because my Jabberwock. Oh, he starts at one? Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Fresh bag. Fresh bag. Draw him up. Ladies and gents, reveal. No. All right. Kira, that is a, just the basic be. three for you now. Mm -hmm. All right. So three for red. One, two, three. David, you have to lose somebody. Uh, yeah, just take my little guy out of there. Bye, my, little guy. My supporter. Your little supporter guy. What would you get? So three, but then my piping hot gives, gives me plus one strength for each chip in my madness track. So that's a five. 
Bull. Oh, nice. bull. So I wonder if that's retro. Those are probably only active the moment you play them, not retroactive. I would think so. Okay. All right. You keep going, everybody. Everybody. Keep are going? you? Are you? Yep. Well, she has She's to. Thinking. I have to. She's I have to at least pretend She's to keep going. Ready? Go. No. Forge token. Kira got a forge token mm. for one. David. I've got this, but it means I'm going to be done. I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to shield and, and redraw. While he's doing that, you get two on the track, and you're purple. Did you move me up five that last time? Two. Two, two for green. You should be at one, seven, eight, nine. You should be at nine. All right. Dang. Tell you, man, flamingos are the bomb. There yeah, flamingos, flamingos are pretty cool. And if you can flamingo your flamingo, that's something. Right. Go. Oh, oh, I'm out. Nice. You're Kira out, out. is out. She loses everything. There's your I got, red queen. I got three more. Three more. All right, green. three more for green. One, two, three. And you got three more? Plus or the five. piping hot thing. So you get five. So yeah. One, two, three, four, five. I'm not five. a fan of your piping hot. <laughs> I'm, <not laughs> I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You're at 16. Yeah, you're at 16. Right? Oh, she doesn't even you're have a broken six. shield. That's seven, six. eight, because this is a five. But it just multiplies but I don't think this. That, yeah. yeah, so that's six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right? 15, 16. 15, 16. You're right. Wow. <laughs> this might be the first that someone gets up to 25, which basically when someone gets there, they win. The battle's no. done. All right. You guys go we'll again. I'm, well, I'm going to put my hand out anyway. She has two supporters. You have you. I have Jarber just my guy. Go. Bye-bye, mm. guy. Ooh. Ooh, I Mr. like supporter's it. Your gone. I like it. You guys are just basically, she didn't drink. Any, that's an empty hand. Go. Maybe. It is. <laughs> you can tell. All right. One for you. You going to keep going? I could keep going to try to beat her. I think I'm going to stop. Well, you have to. Fake draw for us. Fake draw for us. Go. What's it going to be, everybody? It's got something <gasps> in it. All right. All right, I'm so shocked. that's the end of that. Uh, you are going to win. So you're going to get how many points are over there? Eight points. So go ahead and give yourself eight points. Up to 18. Give David, who's four. green, four points. You can give green four points. And then you get to place your castle there. Very Yay. nice. Enjoy. All right, so now we're on to the fourth spot, and that's down here. And there's a whole bunch of people. So let's first tally up our power there with the people that we have. I have my leader and the walrus there, and my leader is a four, and my walrus is a four. So I start with eight power. How is your wow. walrus a four? My walrus is a four because of my ability here. It says that all my Wonderlandian figures are plus two, that every chip I draw Ooh. is plus one that's a Wonderlandian chip. Nice. Yeah, Alice is going to be powerful. So she no is joke. an eight starting in that area. I feel like she should be, though. All right, and then you have a griffin. What's yeah, griffin my start griffin at? starts as a one. Uh, at the start of battle, and I have a power. I can move up to two of your supporters to the Griffin's region. Okay. So I'm actually oh. going to change things up and just bring these guys over here. Let's slide them over there. Okay. Yep. And anyone else has any leader in there, right? All right. Let's draw. One. So that allows me to put something back into my bag. I'm going to refresh. I Being think I'm anything. Do that. So I'm gonna put I'll take this back into my bag. Out, and, and that this gives is me a refresh. One. You have three, so three for purple. You have nothing, and you have nothing. Uh, uh you know what? Right, I pulled uh, okay. madness, and I had to right. refresh my bag. Next one. Boom. Bow tie. So the bow tie for me is a three. So one, two, three. So I take what two. Do you have? I did this. Oh. So I busted. So I just get to re put everything back in my yep. bag. So your guy comes back. Your little chip comes back. You have two for red. One, two. David, what do you have? One. A single one, which is actually moves you up one space because you started with one. Yes. All right. Ready? All right. 
I lose a dude. Uh oh. Losing support, huh? I'm going up three. I go up one, please. One for red. Three. Three for me, and I've got good news. Look, for me, not what? for you guys. Uh, I've got claws that catch. The first time uh, I draw one of these, each battle, give a poison chip to all opponents. Oh, no. You ready? Oh, yeah. That's kind of fun. I think that, I, just that was, drew I don't it. care if I, like even I have win this anymore. feeling I just drew the poison. Nope. Oh, my God. Is that, did all of us just Oop, do that? Be down here. Yep. Uh, I'll, I'll take it, one. obviously. All right. I need to mix up my bag a little bit better, I think. Nah. <laughs> there we go. So I ended at three strengths. And I'll bring on another quest. <laughs> well, look at her in quests. Uh, I got a three. So one, two, three. Oh, one. One, two, three. You're done? I'm this done. Is actually Just slide me down and there. you. Oh, you're out? That was. She uh, stopped it. She yeah. quested yeah. it. Oh. All right. Remember, you have your sword, so. This is the next one. That was the next, yeah. And yeah. redraw. Yeah. Uh, where are we? Oh, you're way up there, huh? You'll redraw before yeah. David draws. Okay. Oh, you're redrawing. Mm hmm. Other. Ugh. That doesn't go there. It goes into your. Yeah. 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 Mm. So two friends go away. So your hump, your walrus and your. Yep. So you just. Oh no, Alice is still there. Alice, Alice has is there. to stay. Oh, this could be exciting. Yep. All right, next draw. Oh, I got. I'm gonna pull a good chip here. Those <laughs> 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 were some awesome Don. chips. Dun, I was hoping dun. you'd pull one, All right. but you didn't have any need to. All right, so I get six points. I go up to 20. David, you get three, three points. You are green. I yep. get to put a castle there, which is the purpose. Man, losing And I have a quest. Stop Ugh. when your final active chip has a base strength of one uh, in the Meadow of Living Flowers. And that's going to give me some points for weak I, uh, I get an I get a point for my. You do oh, get a point. Lovely flower. All right, and then I have some abilities on my board here. Number one, I get to move Alice if I have this, so she's going to move over here. And I get to after the battle put one of my uh, active two active ally chips back in my bag. That's the only active ally I have. So that goes there. And these come back down here. And then is anyone forging? I can't. I'm so do you have any forge? forge? Nope. I, I have forge some spot. forge and I'm doing it. I was yeah, on a forge on spot, a forge so spot. I've got three forges to do. I'm going to do this forge, which lets me upgrade over here. I am going to do this refresh bag one. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to forge this one. Okay. Uh, which just makes my castles worth five. Okay. Uh, and get rid of one of those big threes. No, 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 not yet. That's it. That's <laughs> all, all right. my four. All right. Those go to your exhausted, and we go to the final area. We're in the woods. Yep. I'm and not that in. Is just you and I? No, the three of you. Oh, oh yeah, it's just, just you two and of us. You, the two right. of us. I don't have many chips, so I'm definitely going. Well, to. she doesn't have many supporters, so. So I drew the two, and I'm in a shield. Shielding is probably a good idea. Yes. Otherwise, you'd be out. Throw back in, mix it up, draw again for you only, not me. Just you. You got a forge. So one. one. You are red. Mm-hmm. All right. Keep going. I've got four, three in my bag. That's not great. Right? It. Go. Another one. <laughs> I love these guys. I'm going to put another one of these back so in I'm my bag. So I'm up to two? This thing. Of course you are. This this strategy is awesome. Can I kind of like I kind of like Alice. Alice is pretty good. You're Alice is red, good red. stuff. How All of them two. have really interesting so things I going be on. At, I start at four. I should be at six. So All four right. for my natural, and then those two. All right. We ready? Mm-hmm. I need my three. I got it again. Oh boy. You win. All right. So one, two, three. You didn't draw anything, so I'm gonna win the area. I'm gonna get four victory points. It's going to move me up to 24. I'm bringing out another quest. Kira's going to get of two. Of course. One, two. 
Then I get to put my final castle in this area. So all my castles out now. This is going to allow me to put two allies back into my bag because I didn't bust. I'm gonna take both these allies back into my bag. That goes there. That goes there. Yeah, that's just stuff. Your, that's just your ability. You don't even need to have one of these out. I'm gonna get a third one out here very like, soon. That's just I like this. I like this lady. Yeah. All right. So that is the end of that round. So a couple things again are going to happen. You guys remember what happens? Yep. Yeah. We're going to reset the board That's and right. we'll be right back with round three. All right. So we are getting ready to start round three. And the first thing we're going to do is here, I'm going to ask you to turn over that quest card to see where the battles will start at the end of the tea party. We're, we're doing it right this time. What's in? All right. This is where we're going to start. Oh, okay. So that has significant importance to Alice. For me. That's why we need to do That's that. why we did yeah, it this that's time. That's why we need to do it right. <laughs> All right. So uh, we, last player. Kira, it's you. We I'll go. take the queen. Here, please. All right. What do you got? queen. Two, three chips. Oh, got two flowers. Uh, how many roses do you have now? A lot. Enough. Um, can I have the die, please? And then I get to place two guys, but I'm actually going to move Kay. my yes. get three. Got I'm going to move my... Um, White Rabbit and one of my friends yep. over to the Red Keep, please. The Red Keep down here. All right. All right. Well, I kind of like here starting because I'm Oops, second. Go. I'm going to move. I'm going to, uh, let me, how many castles do I have? Two more castles? Do I, I'm going to come here. Okay. He totally Ooh. skipped picking up his Wonderlandian for his. I did. I did. Quest. Which I'm surprised. I was so certain I gave that up. I get two of the six. I'll get you. Yeah, thank you. Rooks in the house. And then I roll the shard die. Come on. Be nice to me. That's not bad, I suppose. Okay. Uh, and then I get a push, push out one supporter. If I don't have a castle here, I'll go there. All right. My go. Well, Alice is such a big thing for me. I may just go. Where were you thinking? I'm going to go here. Oh, oh wow. Get a That's put quite a trip oh. around the board. Give me two, fi two fives. Oh, you get the five, so you have to two switch fives. to ones later. Yeah, but there's only one round, so it doesn't really matter. That's true. Unless well, you, but you, unless you unless exhaust you right away. Yeah. Humpty, doing the Humpty dance, is going to go here. And I have to roll the die. Watch this. Zero. Oh, you lost Humpty last one. time? I did. All right. I'm done. Is that the only guy you get to put out? Yeah, you just had mm. one. All right, John D, where are you heading? I, I am going to use my there? ability to take any card without moving, okay. and I'm going to take that. The no, rook? The, yep, oh, the rook. Oh, finally used your ability. I know, right? So six from that stack there. And you get to put... And two guys? Two yep. Two supporters out to the board. Where are they going to go? I have to put them in the same place, right? Yes. That's true. Unless you're Kira. You don't have the rabbit, right? Who has the rabbit? She uh, has the rabbit. She has All the right, rabbit. Cool. All right, back to you. Back to here. I know, and I did that for a reason. We'll go here. Okay. Move up your strength to a three. Get a level one. And put three supporters out. I'm going to put out my Dormouse here. And two supporters here. Uh, I am going to come around here. David, don't forget to put out your poison. Oh, I keep forgetting the poison. So this is going to go here. Oh. Uh, I am going to go up my leader strength, yeah. finally, uh, and then I take a level one of anything. Um, you know what? Uh, I'll take a forge token, actually. And you get to put how many supporters out? Three, All right. which is unique for me. Mm -hmm. I haven't put out a lot. I'll put three right here. All right. Who's going <laughs> to refresh the cards? Well, Jeremy can get a Wonderlandian without doing too much work here. And it looks like he yeah. will. I'm going to go here. Give me the amulets. That's a pretty good one. Really hoping you wouldn't do that. And I get to put <laughs> zero supporters out, but I get to take any level one that I want. Give me a forge. So now, John, you have to move. You've uh, used your power. Yep. Really wanted that card he just took. I'm gonna take the two rooks then. Or the guards. Or the guards, yeah. Two guards. And I get to place one I supporter. I can't quite reach him. Card soldiers is what they are. Card, not guard. Oops, 
to roll the die too. Oh, I do, don't I? That's the special ah. part. Yes. Mm. Dose. Just got rid of those. Oh, like who, who, what's the situation? She's four, got three. three, three. Oh, she's got four. Oh, okay. Right there. All right. Well, you know where I'm going. Okay. Who's got? So okay. you'll need to help, help me out here, Jeremy. Yeah. Pass me the die and move here? her there. Yep, because there's nothing in front of me. Three. You guys will need to refill three. for me. I will. Thank oh, you. Yeah. One. Mm. Mm. Oh. All right. Where do I two? go? Now I wish I hadn't used my ability already. Too far. Really? Earn her quests. No supporters. One, draw shard. two quests, pick one, throw a shard back into the center. David. Mr. Jabberwock. Mm. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go here. Okay. Take this card. This is gonna let me do an upgrade. I'm gonna do don't forget to put this, this on the one. next space, which yeah. would be that. And I take a level one chip. Uh, I'll take another forge, actually. Interesting. All right, Alice has to go to roll the magic fun die. That's oh, a, I cannot that's believe you guys in your blanks. That we're going to go there. You haven't rolled a blank, have nope. you? Jeremy, one goes I've out there I've rolled a lot well. of threes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I've rolled a two, I Look think. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. Oh. Just circle all the way back around, but it's yours. That stinks. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. But it is you know interesting those, to see when the cards come out. Those double flamingos are looking really nice. You don't want those. <laughs> those aren't the flamingos you're flamingoing. Those are the flamingos I'm looking for. <laughs> I, I cannot not oh. do that. That is way too good. No. How so, many cards has he sniped from you this round? Like so, two. Okay. At least that two. is going to put a guy on the board, and I need to More win supporters. this spot. I have not. My last one didn't give and me any supporters. That was frustrating. Roll the die. Yes. All right, John D., where are you heading? I'm going to come over to the wild level two. You're not going to take this? Nope. Mingo? So All right, there you are. Any level two and two supporters out. You want to hand uh, that Where's to my two flamingos? There you go, Johnny. All right, and remind me which Wonderlandians we have left. It's we have a little Humpty. Sorry. Humpty, you can't end on an even because right. that will make them break you, you bust. Right. like an egg. And then you have the other one that says opponents don't count the strength of their next chip. Oh. Also, Humpty is a five power. Yeah, he's five. He's monstrous. Oh, <laughs> he is. Let's see. Seven for you, by the way. He's a seven for me. I'm going to. Where are you? I'm going to come over here. Mm-hmm. No, oh, I am going to no. go there. I'm going to take that. Yeah. I'm going to get rid of a shard. I'm going to take Humpty and place him. So you get Humpty immediately. You have to place him on the board. Here. All right, to the forest he goes, and you get three supporters. And. I do, and I'm going to place them in various locations, uh, starting with it's here. It's a really nice ability. Here, it is. It gives you flexibility. It anyway. does. Let me double check something here. And here. Okay. All right. David, roll I'm the gonna, die. Yeah, move me there first. You're going to roll three. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> John D, it. you're not invited anymore. <laughs> Look at that. What? Oh, right at the end. What? It's not bad, but uh, you're just you're just trying to get me to go there so you can go there. I don't want that. Mm, and that's that. the, what did you just you just told me what that was that that last you, one. The oh, next... doesn't count their, their next chip. Right. So their strength of their next chip. Ooh. That it would be worth, everybody. Right? Each of those chips is worth two to me. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go there. Oh, I try to fake him. Move your Didn't poison. Work. Yes, oh, yes, where is my poison? Your poison is right here. Goes on that lonely flamingo. I'm surprised that so the crown. So I will take that Wonderlandian. I'm surprised that the crown of the knave did not go first. Right. This is gonna go in my bag. I considered I, it, but I you, like the five strength. Could you give me a forge chip? And I get to put out two supporters down there. Mm. Sorry, right. Jeremy. Oh, Not fine. really, though. You've got three. You've got a lot. So these are just negative points at the end. I gotta go here. With my last one. Put out a single supporter. Alice, um, why do you keep standing on the table? 
<laughs> um, she's, she's wild and crazy. Jumping from plate to plate. It's her ability. She can sit on the plates. Oh, interesting. Um, I don't want to win something. Let me try so did you get snakes. two of these e forge tokens? Nope, I get two of those. Yeah, okay. All right. I'm just going to go right there. All right, so she gets an upgrade and a level one something. A level one something. Let's take Flamingo. All right, and do you get to put any uh, yep, supporters two. out? I get to put two supporters out. <clears throat> I'm going to go here. That's not for you, though. I think it is. All right. Okay. All right, so that's the end. We've all drafted four, right? Mm -hmm. Now we so yeah. all right, we're so going to start our guys. We already our, uh... know where the battle's going to take place. Then we do the fifth thing, which is each player in turn order is going to place their leader somewhere. Sure. So, so I'm that's first. So yeah, that's I right. will get, take the red queen, yep. and I will have her come here. All right. Red queen goes with red stuff. Thank you. All right. Divid. Mm, 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 mm. Jabberwocky. Uh, Jabberwocky. I'm going to put... The Jabberwock over there. Here? Yep. You are green. Go with your green guys. Supporters. Where are you right. going? Alice. Alice. I'm gonna I'm gonna do my ability. I'm gonna follow the board and move every single place that I can move to. All right. And John D. Hmm. All right. Oh, it's a party. <laughs> it's a party. So you have the most. Yes. Discard half. There's I a surprise. Half. You get one. You get two. Yeah. You get one. Awesome. So excited. I get one. All right. I do not I'm like okay how much madness, madness I have. Now because my abilities uh, get, I, I get to do cool stuff when yeah, I get I'm not chips. so great with madness, and I've got a ton in here. All right. So, what's end it is. Am I even over there? I'm I yeah. So I let's, let's adjust the power first. I'm sitting at four. As am I. Eight. I'm sitting at eight. Oh my, wow. Because I've got the walrus there as well. Oh. So eight, you are I'm at, at four. four. Man. Okay, are we ready? Yeah, I'm just narrating. All right. Everyone get their hand out there and reveal. Two All right. Me? All right, so I start with three. One, two, three. John D's gonna get three. Mm -hmm. So you're at one, two, three. She gets two more. One, two. Oh, right. well, you started where? No, oh, you didn't have anything there. Correct. I have I have one, one supporter in the area. Yeah. Thinking, thinking. Okay. All right. Oh wow. She must have a quest. So let's do this do first. I'm quest. gonna gain I'm one. Gonna forge at the end You're of gonna turn. gain two. I already have a castle there, so. Nothing. That's true. I'm All really right. just looking to forge. So, you're out. Yes. It's just us. <clears throat> oh boy. I think this is where we went on and on last time too. All right, so I Ooh. get three. One, two, three. You get five. Man. What are you at? Make sure I got that right. Three, four, five, ten. Yep. No? Yeah. And you started with how many? I started with four. So you should be at 14. 14. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Math. Yes. Someone's getting a 25. Math. Okay. I think that's what's going to happen in this battle. Ugh. Not that way, though. Nope. I'm going to count him as a two, which is going to multiply to give him a four. I am also counting mine as a two. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh. So this counts as a two. Yours counts as a one. Mm -hmm. And it says that the next... Oh, no, you must return a, a chip to your bag. Yeah, I no. do. A madness, but you yeah, don't, don't have any madness. madness. Oh, okay. So, really so you're okay. good. Go. Oh, it's my poison. So you get... Not for you, though, Johnny. I get six. No, no, it's a rook. He can't, he Three. can't be right. flamingo. Oh, he can't be flamingo. That goes to you, and I lose a guy. Oh, good, 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 good. You're losing supporters a lot. Well, at least round. my poison did something. Or yeah. this game overall. Oh, flamingo Three. for Jeremy. What'd you get? Two. Yeah, two. Uh oh. Oh no. Really would like to draw out a teacup. So Jeremy's about to hit twenty-five, here. and, and that you... means he just automatically wins, right? Yep. And let, Unless you tie, tie. Yeah, you could. You, you'd have to get a good See what juicy happens. pull here. <laughs> That's all I need was one. 
Oh. Yeah. Well, well, but you got to the forge. Right. You did. All right. So that's going to end And it. another rose, which isn't bad. All right, right. So a lot of things are going to happen here. Number one, points. I'm going to get 12 points. So Kira, can you give me 12? That should put me at 36. You're going to get six points. So you are purple. Mm -hmm. You're going to move to 24. Yep. All right. Castle's already there, so nothing happens there. Um, then, do you have anything else? You get one, two more points? Yep. Right now, because you could get more if you forge those. Two more for John. So, two more for John D. And then you get one, two forges. And if you forge these, these are each worth two more points. Oh. Wow. Let's do it. So, Why give not? her four more points. Oh, John D, that's a nice. That was a uh, really satisfying. I'm going to get some points. I won too. with my wall. So, and I'm going so to do an upgrade. More points. Oh. And I get to forge Man. twice. I get points. And she gets points. Because of this. She... And I get to forge, Kay. which is going to give me more points. She because stayed out. Rose. We're going to go That was one, a long time ago that mm -hmm. you stayed out. Two. This is going to come into my bag. Ooh. This is also going to put two things back in my bag. So I'm going to put this and this back in my bag. And just so you know, you don't have to have one of these to enact that Three power. Right. And then I get to move Alice because I had one of these in my row. So Alice is going to go... John, did you mind moving red up three? I, don't know where she wants I can't to go. quite reach. Got it. A lot of stuff over there. Thank you. I really need to win this. It's another twelve points. Hmm. So Alice is going to move. Although I could draw another one, but if I lose her, she comes back to my bag. Hmm. So there's the inherent problem. Okay. On to the next. Yep. I think I did everything I needed to, to do red there. Red keep. Bow ties. And there's I just three of us there. Did that. Did that. Man, All I, right. I have a ton Jeremy is of not in the red in keep, so it's just yep, John it's D. Yep, just us. You gonna narrate, Jeremy? Or uh, you guys narrate. You, and let me, yeah, you guys narrate this He's first one. He's thinking about his game. He's All right. Mathing. Reveal. Are you kidding oh. me? <laughs> I'm gonna shield it. So um, I get I'm not. one. So it goes back in my bag, and I redraw. Which we should have reset this. So yes. if you can put me at one, please, I'd appreciate it. Oh, and we also didn't do our power to begin Ooh. with. Oh, oh yeah. I did. So I'm at two. Two. I, now I can help you out here. What do you have, Kira? I have so, one from this, and that's it. But but no power, no Correct. leaders or anything? No. Okay. All right. We're good. So you're at one. You're at two. Would you draw a bad thing? You yeah. drew three. So I drew, and, and I don't get, I don't have anything in my madness. So but just three. I believe now I can move this over here. It says after adding strength. I don't mm -hmm. technically get to add strength. After adding yes, strength you can. from a teacup, you may move it to your madness. Yeah, you, you can do that. Okay. Nice. That's pretty cool. Especially, is, especially now, I, you, now watch me not, not draw any more teacups. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, but you still got the three. That's all that really matters, right? All right. Reveal. All right. So three for Kira for red. One, two, three. One for me. One for green. And one. For one. Me. Yeah, but you know what we're going to draw next. Yeah, if I draw, draw like a, a five, five or a six. No, I'm not a six because that would not. Reveal. Oh, are you kidding That's me? huge. It, okay. This is, is a big deal. So we'll do it's you first. Oh. Two, one, two. Nothing for you. All right, yeah, so this is going to multiply. So you're getting six points natively yes. for that. So one, two, six three, strength. four, five, six. Power strength. And yes. then I will get an additional one yep. for that. Yep. And then I can move this over you here. You certainly can. John D, could you give me my two supporters back? I have yes, drawn two green. madness and haven't taken them. Oh. Oopsies. All right. All right. Next pool. Man, Johnny, you are climbing up that. You yeah. don't need a castle there, you know. I'm just telling you. Okay. Go. Three for me. All right. Three and three. That's, uh, so, that's John D. Yep. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. And then and how many did John D get? I uh, drew madness. All right. So next one is. You guys got. All right. So reveal. Oh. All right. That's me. You I, busted? Yeah, I, I busted. So Jabberwocky uh, comes back. Okay. Man. Flip your shield. Yes, I get to flip my shield. You get two. two. The good I flamingoed busted. my flamingo. That's not great. One, two. <laughs> All right, John D, then that means... Oh. You guys are going at it again. You and I. Now you need a teacup. I really do. Really need a teacup. Go. I did not get Look them. at that. Hey, but look, I still get the to flowers. double. I still oh get to double this. my! Yeah. All right. So you each get three. One, now I get two, six. three. Because it's four, flamingo. five, six, and then one, two, three. This is insane. 
Yeah, that's five points right there. And if she forges them, which she needs to get a forge, she could get some more points. But right now, it's just five victory points. Yeah. I mean, she could stop now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. got a good lead. Yeah. I know. I, I don't know that she's catching Go. you. She's out. She did stop. You lose two. Yeah. You have it? Oh. Uh, you it don't have a shield? There. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, <laughs> man. Ouch. Man, that hurt. That Locked out into that so one, baby. That hurt so bad. That but I get to painful. put all this stuff back in my bag. Oh, oh my because gosh. Because that was my fourth. Uh, yes. So let's let's do this in order. So number one, all these are going to go to your exhausted. Yep. You're going to reset, basically. Well, doesn't she reset before? Yeah, she resets before she brings those sure, down. Sure, sure. So, these, so yeah. this. Yep. And the, all of all these. Of yep. yep. And then my shield gets flipped over. Yep. You're not getting any points from that area. Because You're you just getting oh, and you hit the madness level. So That's crazy. Red, can you move this to 27 for me, please? That's you. That just then you're going to get so another sad. five points. So give yourself another five. And then. Were you on a forge? 32. I am on a forge, which is why I stopped. And yep. I'm going to. Which is going to give you another two points. And, yep. Wow. And you get to Everyone place just a castle left there. me in the dust. I do. Here's my castle. Thank you very much. And I will. That was a brutal battle. Feel very good about that, really that round. Was. That was, didn't you say bloodbath earlier? I did that say was blood a bloodbath. It was that mostly was my blood. All right. To the meadow. Oh my god. To gosh. the meadow. All right. Where I Next have a fight. lonely little guy and All right. my griffin. All right. I start. So reset so the Before the griffin strength. happens, do you yeah. want to move two people in there? I, Remember? I, two supporters. We'll reset can go. this, please. Yes. Uh, oh boy. No, I'm not going to do that. Okay. So, I get two to start, plus I have to name a chip type ally chip for my strength for my Dormouse, which mm -hmm. I will say flowers. Okay. And you... My griffin is one. One. Is okay. it just the two of us? It is. All right. I would sing that song, but I'm not so, going to. It's all good. Six. Oh, these are in my exhaust area. One, two, three, four, five, six. You get to four. Two. two. Is that a plus two? Because you said the dormouse was. Oh great. yeah, plus All two. Right. Yay for me. Oh, you went with roses for the dormouse. I did. Well, she's burned through them a lot already. So there's oh. seven of them sitting over there. That's true. There you go. Oh, this Poison. does something. The point on, uh, do not count the strength of either next chip drawn. So, so you get one point. Yep. So you're. Great. And I won't get my next strength. Yeah. Whatever so you draw right now. You now you want her to draw a rose. Yeah. And it's plus two. Reveal. Oh, darn. Oh, darn is right. <laughs> so one for her, mm. two for you, unless you shield that. But you're going to have to. I am shielding that. So throw that back in. No, not yet. You have to replace. I'm waiting. I'm telling you, I might throw a chip at you if I pull that same <laughs> chip. <laughs> <laughs> go. Oh, oh, there you go. Three. That works. Okay, so things happen. So three, number one. One, two, three. And she gets a poison. Oh. Into my bag. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, gain plus one strength for each opponent in the region, so it is a, a four. So I get another one for that. All right. Oh. I keep wanting to reach in my bag. What do I have there? I know. Play? Yes, and help I out. I want to play. Support. I can do this. Go. All right. Three so for me. Three for one, two, three. You're getting a one. Oh. Which is going to be multiplied here by your next one. <laughs> I'm in a, a I'm in a precarious situation. You played this one. Which one? Which did that negate? This one. Her? No, so, because I pulled this. That's right. Yeah, that's so right. it didn't count. Ha ha. Oh. Right. Is it the next chip or the next valid chip? What does your guy say over there? Opponent. Next strength. The next. Next what? chip drawn. All right, there yeah. you go. Here's your answer. Okay, I can't. Reveal. I don't want to lose this. Oh, I lost oh. one. One. So one for green. So it's down to the, the mouse for you? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm on a forge. Yeah. You know what? Uh, oh, boy. We'll see what I do. Same. Empty. Oh. Boom. One for six. me. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One for you. What's going on? Go! Ooh. I'm gonna shoot. All right, throw it in. There you go. 
Oh, oh. No. It hurts when nothing. that happens, doesn't it? It you does a little nothing. bit. Nothing. All right. All right, so. so first thing happens is, David, you get all eight points. So you're going to move up to 26. So hey, we'll you I'm here. kind of back near you guys. You are, sort of, kind and of. you get a castle there, but you yes, got one. I, I have ruined castle. things, yeah, and it makes me sad. All right, all those are going to go to Exhausted. And we're moving over to the woods. And we got me, uh, which is starting with four. So you push all these back. Plus you have Humpty. And I'm getting, no, Humpty's over here. I have way, Humpty. You have Humpty. That's right. Yeah, I'm going to start at four. What's Humpty start at? Five. Five. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Forge. Oh. Guess what? Oh, that's good for you. Uh-oh. Here come the roses. So you got nothing. I did get to flip my shield because I was yeah. out I of the get meadow. three. One, so I'm in two, good shape. three. You got to take a dude off still. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Less a supporter. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good thing to remember. Forge. So uh, she got a one. one. You have a one? Yep. All right. I can't wait for this battle here. Ugh. It'll be another bloodbath. Two for me. It will be a bloodbath. Uh, two. Mm -hmm. Can you pull a guy out for me? Thank you. I like watching you lose support. Yeah, it's fitting that it'll be the final battle of yes, the game. Yes, true. In the pool of tears. <laughs> yeah. Bug. I lose one. Oh boy. Um. Sure, lose two. Two? Yeah. Oh. Ouch. Oh. I can't help it. I'm drawing bad. Oh, you just want those 12 points. I, that's all I want. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You're right. All right, one, which is actually two for me. One, two. What two do you for get? me. This one says that That's opponent amazing. must each return a madness chip to their bag. So that goes back in your bag. Mm. That's nice. That's yeah. A, that's a pretty, that's a pretty, that is pretty thing to happen. Three. Ooh. There it is. Here's my engine. Three right. for me, please. Now, does anything happen when you play one of those that you can do? No, they all happen after the fact. Things happen. Uh, I can block. This actually can go down here and block the next madness. And I get to redraw it. I see. And at the end of the battle, if there's one up in the list, I can move Alice. So she's going to move around oh, for me. Right. Oh, you guys are drawing madness at very uh, similar That actually times. goes back into the bag. Oh, yeah. It just blocks it. And that goes and back And I up. redraw it. So you let him redraw. I am. There's a second bow tie, which is three. And this oh, and says you have the two bow ties. The other bow tie chip is in your active chip. You may place two supporters into this region. So we're going to take... He's going to read Why don't you just place it? Oh. Oh, two yeah. supporters into that region, yeah. We're going to go right over here. Into that into region. That into region. that region. Yeah. Is that what it says? <laughs> nice try. Yeah, though. he's really trying to sneak one in there. I saw that. Place two okay. supporters in any region and win the game. Uh, come on. Ooh. Ooh. So that's one. And I'm, I'm going to put... I get three. I'm going to put this back into my bag. Three, three. for me. Three for her. Um, yeah, 16. When we watch this back on tape, I want to see how many points you got in total just from the roses. Roses, sure. right? It won't be insignificant. Two. Three more. One, two, three. If you don't bust. One, two. Which you're not. Uh, well, you've just got two people there. Mm-hmm. Oh. So hmm. I lose a guy. She's out but I get to keep drawing because, you know, five. What a wasted five. It's okay. One, two, three, four, five, and I get to forge. That's true. And I will forge. So a couple things happen. Number one, we'll tally the points. So I get 12 points. So there's one, two, and then another 12 brings me to 51. You're gonna get six points. So 40. All right, I get to place a castle there. I already have a castle there. Number two, do you have any special abilities? Yes, you're gonna get three victory points right now for your roses. And then are you going to forge any of those? I don't have yeah. any don't forging forge. ability. I have two forging abilities, one here and one here. And I'm going to forge twice. Once with the forge, which is going to go here. Give me a quest. David, they're leaving us in the dust. They are. Well, they're leaving me in the dust for sure. I get well, a single quest. I guess no. we're I'm, pretty I'm close. Back there, yeah. Yep. We're at the Losers Club. <laughs> Um, red keeps already happened. How did you get a quest? All right, so that's not. He over. covered. I covered. Oh, very that. nice. And I got a guy. Um, and then I get to forge a second time, 
which means you I may will have, take I mean, Alice. Why wouldn't you at this point? But, but except for you can't really, you're not going to be placing any any supports again. But if he so forges weeding, enough, he can get four extra victory points. Yeah, right. my back. That makes sense. All right, um, that happened, and now I get to, at the end of the battle, if I have an active sword, I get to move Alice, so Alice is going to move to this battlefield. Of course. And then I get to take two ally chips and put them back into my thing. I'm going to take this one and this one and put them back into my bag. Man. All right. Alice, Final. Is, Alice is awesome. Alice's player board is kind of sick. Alice is awesome. That's Final awesome. battle These are gonna go of here. the war. Final battle. We're all in it. To win it. Epic showdown. So we're going to start. Pool of tears. All the way back. We're going to get some victory point or some uh, strength. Four for me. Four for me. Some of us are going to be filling that pool a little bit. <laughs> Do you have any power there? No. I have no power no there to begin with. Okay. Nope. All right. Are you? Oh, kidding seriously? Me? Two for Kira. Oh, that's going to reset my One, two, one, two, three. So I have to I lose, lose somebody. A guy. Purple. That's not bad, I guess. You lost someone? Is that what happened? Are you reset? Yeah, I reset. Did you also take a guy? A sporter off? I did. Okay. But now I have all that madness back. Reveal. In oh. Same. This is 10 points. Everyone doesn't count their next chip. So you get one. Oh. You get three. Three. I'm going to end up drawing a six now. What'd you get? Madness. I got 10 points. We can only hope. <laughs> so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. The next one does not count. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So draw big. Draw my 5 out. Draw big. Five. Doesn't count for points, but it's still there. So block. Right. I'm going to put this here just to remind so myself. I get 3. 1, 2, 3. So no one got any points for that. I drew a madness. So one of her people goes off. Uh, Oh, this is actually a fun last battle here. All of us involved. Boom. There's my another sword. Oh, really glad I didn't draw that so last. Three. One, two, three. What'd you get? Six. six. Oh my gosh. Oh, why didn't you draw that six last purple. time? One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six. Kira? Nothing. Huh? Nothing. Oh, nothing? And Correct. you got three? I got three. Oh. I will um, shield. I'm going to block it with one of my swords, put it back in. Redrawing. Redraw. I'm redrawing as well. Mm. He's going to be a two. One. So that's going back Will you move here. me up one, please? One, two, three. One. Yep, just one. You're already all the way up there. Got ten for that this. That is, oh. Did you move me up two? Uh, two. Mm -hmm. Purple. Purple. Where am I? Ooh. It's all or nothing. Ooh. I mean, it's the final battle. Just push it. Cool. One for me. I'll count him as two. To finish it. I moved one. Please move red one. Move Five one. for me. Five for you. Um, that couldn't have worked out any better. All right. So <laughs> we're gonna get some forge. two forges. All right. Nice. So let's oh. do let's do points first. Whoa. Number one. Uh, I'm gonna get to ten points. So I'm going to go up to 11. Second place Johnny's was... Getting, Johnny's Johnny. getting five. five. Five for Johnny. All right. Then I get third. two and two forges. So, so two points. Two points plus another four because I'm forging both of my roses. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I've got one forge, but no extra points, and I'm going to forge this one here. You got nothing over there? Nope, nothing. Okay. <laughs> now all fun. we have to do is tally up the in-game victory points. So let's figure out how we do this. Number one, we get to do castles. Yes. So each of the castles in the game is worth three victory points, unless you have built out one of your forge boards on the cost of the bottom. Now I've built out mine. I'll start doing mine, then we'll go around the table. Sure. Each one of mine is worth six, and I have all five of mine out. Oh, so I'm going to get God. 30 points for that, which is going to put me at 41 over here. Mm -hmm. You are getting four points for each of yours. And how many do you have out? Uh, two? two. That's eight yes. points. So eight points for purple right here. Oh, 43. there she is. 
And eight points for me as well, as I believe I only have two castles. Eight, so one, two, four three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm getting 18. I have three out. 18, where are you? Way over there. All right, so. Here's 10, and yep. then another yep. well, 44. Well, see, you caught up. Mm -hmm. You did kind of catch up. Yeah. I mean, well, with everybody you're, but you're, you. You're now, Jeremy, you've wrapped the board. Do you have something to remind yourself? Figured, if you haven't figured this out, we let Jeremy win all the games. Yeah, you know, I'll put this little thing in here to remind myself that I left it. Okay. Uh, the next thing we do is we look at the shards that we have left. I have three shards. I actually lose three victory points. One, two, three. You have also three. three. You are purple. One, two, three. David? One, two, three. One for One, me. two, three, and You red. broke the, the cycle. Uh, I now also, here. here, can you put this under mine? Because yes. I also left. Thank He'll you. do that. Now the biggie. This is where I think Kira's going to make up a lot of points. We're going to do the quests. Now remember, all of your quests are worth whatever they say on the top, according to uh, if you still have it in your hand. Now if you've revealed it, like I have this one, you get double the points for what you have on top. And remember, to reveal them, you had to have done something in the game. And mm -hmm. she got five of them that she revealed. It's going to be worth a lot of points for her. But I'll do mine first. This one says that I get one victory point for each of my uh, leader's strength and unlocked faction abilities. So I have four unlocked faction abilities and four strength. That's eight times two. That's 16 points. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, teen. So I'm at double through. I'll just put this here. Jeez. And then my other one just he gives just me. knocked over the hatter. No respect whatsoever. You'll be all right. <laughs> the other one is two victory points for each region where I've completed a quest. And I've only done one region where I've completed a quest. So that's just two victory points. And that's so. my game. That's all the points I'm going to earn. <laughs> all right, Gandhi, what do you got? All right, this one I didn't, so I just get to do the top, part? the top part. I get a half a victory point for each soldier or flamingo chip that I have. Oh, boy. So I went pretty hardcore into the uh, soldiers and flamingos here. Is it one or the other though? And, I think it's Does it say and, and or? Or, or. or. Mm. So I'm pick doing one. flamingos. That's so you have one on the board as well. So that's half yes. point, three points? Yep. All right, so three. And what about your other one that doesn't? Uh, the other one I get one VP for each strong ally chip that I have at times two, which would be All your level twos. one. Sorry. This no, one? this one does. This one? Yeah, yeah. I get points for my poison. Yep. Or Here's my, your poison. Uh, and this one. And this one. The flower. The, the oh, three yeah, flower. Yeah. Yep. So that's two for each? Or just one two for each? Two for each. Because you doubled that one. Yes. All right. So that's eight points. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look, you, you flat the board. Ta -da. All right. David. All right, so I have one VP, well, two because I revealed it for each Wonderlandian card and unlocked faction ability. So uh, I have one, two, three, four, points. five, six, 12 points. All right. So this is me right here. Oh. I, I'm the one without the You can the move me for him You're if 53. you want. There you go. I'll put this Ooh. underneath it. Show you that once. Okay. Uh, and then my next one, I'm going to need your help on half a victory point for each weak ally chip. Yeah. Oh. Round up. And. Correct me if I'm wrong, but these are the weak versions yeah. of that yeah, one, right? Weak. Those two are weak. So one, two, three, four, because it's rounded up. Yep. So four points times two, eight more points. All right. Math. Green. Green. Uh, green. There you go. All right. So 11. And we don't count these on our board, right? No. Yes. Yes. We do. No? Yeah, yes. We do count these, so yeah. another, yeah. Another, yeah. Another, another point. Another point? Okay. Okay. We'll go through these one at a time. Oh, boy. Oh, geez. Can we go somewhere while you do this? <laughs> one VP for each non-forged chip on my forged tracks times two. So two, four, two. six, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve points. Mm, wow. All right. I think one, Kira's going to end up twelve. Half rushing. a VP for each creature or rose trip rounded up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Half a point. So eight points. Yep. And this creature, right? No. 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 Or. So eight is... I chose to go with roses. Oh, you choose one or the other. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right. Dangerous quest. One VP for each quest card completed or not. One, oh. two, three, four, five, six, so seven. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. So Wait, one, two, three, four, you're at forty. Okay. Uh, the next one is one VP for each red rook or rose trip rounded up times two. So again, whatever I just said, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, another eight. Okay. 
You're at 48. And then half VP for each row as their soldier rounded up, so another eight. Okay. Wow. One, two, three, Jeez. four, five, six, seven, eight. That is Double chip. Disgusting. Are you going to come one shy yeah. of, of beating him? No. That's, or do you have more? She's got two more that you didn't do, right? These are the two that I didn't do. Yeah, yeah but you, you, still, you get still get the, get the top I do. Yeah. Yeah. You, just you just don't, don't get double. Get... Yeah. Oh, half a VP for each rose. <laughs> oh, so another four? So that's four points. Yeah. And then one half a VP for each creature or rook, and I only have creatures, so one. One. There you go. You beat me by one, two, three, four, five points. Wow. Ha! Quest. <laughs> Quests is Quest. where it's at for sure. That was interesting. I mean, where was I? I I'm I'm in dead last. Where are no, you, John? No, no, I'm in dead last. You're in dead last. Well, I'm <laughs> you, sorry. You, you me let's, up. We can be in last together. We can be in the loser We're, circle yeah, together. We are definitely in that. All right. All right so that is Wonderland's War. Join us on the couches as we talk about our entire experience. We'll give you the complete rundown. And thanks for watching that so far. All right. So welcome back. If you're just now joining us, let's give you a recap. Kira won by four points. Four points. Four points. It's close. And it was a pretty big point, uh, not the point spread, but yeah. you guys were up in the 120s, right? Yeah, you were yeah. 111. 111, oh. 107, close. 62, 52. 52. Yeah, so there are winners and losers in the game, but not in life. We're all winners, I think. That's right. And we're all winners with this game. Because yes. It's, it's and we're all mad here. Yeah, the game has drastically improved. We've played it several times. We've wa followed this development for over a year now. And we're super excited to see where it is right now. We're going to go around the table real quick. And we're going to talk about maybe one thing that really stuck out for us strategy-wise about the game. Kira, go ahead and start with your Red Queen. Yeah, like you said, we've played this multiple times back. I mean, I've been and I've played the Red Queen every single time I've played it. So I've gotten to watch her iterations improve. And I, this is definitely the best version of her I've seen so far. And I actually went with something a little different this time, and that was really focusing on these quests because that was new to me, and I wanted to see what I could do with it, and I think it paid off pretty well. It was a really interesting strategy, and uh, it was a little bit, at times, a little nerve-wracking because I wasn't sure if I was getting, you know, without getting the castles out, if this was going to work out well, but it, I think it did. Your quest card strategy was pretty ridiculous. If you guys didn't watch when we tallied up the score, rewind right now. We'll <laughs> wait, and you can see how our quest card It was card almost strategy. 50 points. She almost wrapped around the board. It was insane. Just In fact, I'm going to suggest to the publisher that maybe he limit the quest cards to like three. <laughs> well, and if, you, if you actually think about it, we went into the last round, and I was in last place because I started first. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, so. that's true. You were building for the end game. It was I interesting. was building for the end game. I got out to an early score, but it had nothing to do with my strategy because I didn't have much of a strategy. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I, this is the first time I played the Jabberwock, and I was looking at some of the powers down the upgrade side of this board, and I picked a couple, but then I kind of lost sight of those because I had a couple of those quest cards that I got so focused on. I was like, oh, well, I'll get this other power and this other power. And the one thing I didn't do nearly as well as you did just because I think you're a harder core gamer than I am. You maxed out your board, and you didn't miss anything that you could do with that board mm -hmm. as you played. And you, and by the end of the game, you were like, and then at the end of, hold on, by the end of my round, I get to do this and this and this and this. And I think I probably missed a couple uses of, of my powers, but I still, had, I still had a blast. I like the Jabberwock. I played Alice before. I really like how she synergizes with the Wonderlandians. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty amazing how well a job they've done with Alice and making all of her abilities kind of synergize with each other, especially with the chips that you get. Um, it was really fun to be able to cycle those and do the abilities that she was built to do. Like, you wouldn't think about that until you start playing her and understanding what she does, but I really focus on that hard to be able to upgrade those abilities so that I could pull the chips that I need to pull to be able to reutilize those abilities. So each time... I was just moving Alice from location to location to location with it, the native strength that she had built in, trying to get some victory points that way. And I was able to get a lot of victory points from just winning battles. Unfortunately, I didn't go the quest route. I only had two quests. Only one of them scored a doubler on it. So I went a completely different route, but kept pace pretty well with the, the winners. So. Did any of you guys have more than two quests? I don't think we did. I didn't even complete. No. I completed one. But you oh. only ended I up having two. two in your I only yeah. had two, but I did achieve them, so they did double the points, yeah. which was satisfying. But you doubled how many? Four? Or five. She had five. Five, and then I you had, had five two more in your two. hand. Yeah. yeah. Not to mention, did you even mention your rose points that you got? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I didn't even think like, about that. Because that, I had those were brutal heavy, heavy roses. Too. Yeah. Was, a lot of combos there. You can make this whole segment about Kira's strategies because she definitely dominated the game. So, Johnny, you played uh, the Mad Hatter, and I've played him before. What did you think of that guy? You know, I really liked him. Um, he has some really interesting things that he, like, 
I don't feel like I got the direct like direction off of his abilities, mm -hmm. and and I know if I played another time, I would do things probably yeah. differently. But I really liked the combos that mm -hmm. his abilities did. The fact that one of the upgrades let me move, uh, get the strength for the things that are in my madness track, mm -hmm. and then the second ability would let me move those teacups to my madness track so i really liked the combo there i thought that was mm -hmm. i should have gotten into that a lot sooner and i didn't i ignored it you didn't even get to one of his abilities which i played the other night which mm -hmm. is really cool at the end of the tea party he has the ability of foregoing being placed onto the board to contribute his strength to be able to take a fifth tea party yeah. card which is really powerful Huge. As well, yeah so. and by the time i thought about it it was already too late yeah yeah so. i mean you you and i get did kind of the same thing we forgot some of our powers at times and we yeah. just yeah. kind of blew it because that one where um your power where you could just take pick a card, card without moving yeah. yeah you didn't even do that every single time no. yeah, yeah yeah i i yeah I, I forgot a lot of things that i think might have helped me me too end. and i kind of did this whole like throw everything at the wall and see what sticks mm -hmm. and but I think that helped me. It was a, fir a first full playthrough for me. Yeah. yeah. Um, I played like a round before, so I was a little bit familiar. And I mean, I really liked the game. So. Yeah. yeah. It's Absolutely. fantastic. It's taken a really nice development turn. Uh, right now, we're going to pause and we're going to ask two of the people from Skybound to join us on the couches because we're going to do a little bit of a deeper dive into the game and figure out how, where it's come from, where it is today, and what may possibly change during the Kickstarter from the time that we played it now until the time you guys are going to see it. So join us in just a moment. All right, welcome back. We are joined now by James Hudson of Skybound and Ian Moss, the designer extraordinaire. Uh, we thought we'd get with these guys and sort of hold them to the coals, ask them how this game has been in development. And I'll promise you this, we kind of gushed about the game just now. It's not just because these guys were standing <laughs> off camera for sure. We definitely like the game. And there have been times in its development that we weren't so much fans. And fact, it really has come along. In fact, not at all. Like, the first couple of times we played this... No, let's just be honest here. Welcome like, to the we, set, guys. We, we see a lot of games that we'll play the first time, and we trash it. And we, you were kind enough to invite us to a retreat to go play the game, and we gave you our honest feedback. And it wasn't great. because We it, invited you to trash our games. It was great. Well, it's, 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 nice to see, it's nice to see that a developer recognizes that not just us. I mean, because it's not just MVM. Yeah. There's a lot of different... Uh, media people who touch a lot of games. So sure. we appreciate that when those people come to you and say, we don't really like this, maybe this can be interjected, maybe this can change. And you guys were very open to the fact that the game needed changes. It's it's a big part of the process too when we're working on a game. The, the playtesting comes through and you get all that feedback and you apply it. Now, you know, a lot of it sometimes it's subjective, right? So you can't sure. just change a design completely just on somebody's subjective stuff. But when you see these pain points across different play groups, mm -hmm. that's when you're like, okay, that thing, we need to do a thing with that thing. Right. <laughs> so where was the game? Let's talk about where the game was originally. Originally, it was you went to an area control or a worker placement spot first. Right. Yep. And you went through several rounds of worker placement. Oh, really? And mm -hmm. then you went to the area control, which is a giant map. Yep. Uh, very different than the regions that you have now. And now you kind of broke it apart and distilled the same game because you still have the same theme, you still have some of the same things that are going on with the original game, but you distilled it down to a game that is much more approachable but also intrinsically deep. There's a lot of things you have to think about in this game with the way that you build out your bag, yeah. which wasn't really there in the first game. Well, it's funny because the, the original design is still fantastic. Like that mm -hmm. worker right. placement breakdown, like that's its own game. But one of the things that we just, it always felt like two separate games. Right? Very much so. And so it, it took, a, it was almost a whole year worth of us working through right. it until we finally were like, well, what's the, what's the best part of the two? Well, it's this part. Okay, well, how do we get to that part faster? What if we just draft stuff instead of this the worker placement? And worker everybody placement, groaned, and everybody's like, but, yeah. "But that's the favorite part of this current iteration." So sometimes you have to kill your darlings when you're yeah. when you're designing. That's interesting. I, that's got to be hard to do, both as a publisher and a designer, right? Right. Well, a lot of times, if if someone's passionate about an idea, we're like, "Well, let's try it, right? Let's see where this goes. Let's see where we're leading. Let's see, like, if we really want to take a jump at this. If it doesn't work." We try something else. So we were like, what if what if we just do a draft? Everything you're doing, all the worker placement, is just kind of you're collecting things. What's mm -hmm. the fastest way you collect things? You draft, right? Uh, so the first step was, how do we make a draft fun? Well, we make it Wonderland, right? Mm -hmm. So we had a tea party. So the first idea was, well, it's a, it's a tea party, and you're going around, 
right? Because that's fun. Everyone's changing places, grabbing, you know, plates, all of that. And so we just drew out a thing. Manny, Manny made a board, drew some Cheshire faces on it. <laughs> and then we, we made up some cards and we, we tried it. And it was fun and it worked. So that idea, we were like, after that play, we were like, okay, yes. Like, okay, this was, this, this idea is worth pursuing. And what's funny Where about do we go that particular <laughs> moment mm-hmm. is we had got to a moment in the process. It'd been about probably let's say a little over a year that we'd worked on it and we'd been banging our head against the wall. Like we just couldn't get it to like flow the way we wanted. And so we just came back from a retreat where we'd all come together, we'd played it for a whole day and banged our head against the wall. And I think everybody was just like really ready to throw their hands up. Like we were (laughs) really at a breaking point as a team on this particular project. And then that conversation happened like in the debrief that night after dinner, after we were all like, let's just go take a break. And the next day that was like, all right, well, it's it's worth one last shot to see if this changes things. And then like, that's when it just took off from there. That's cool. And this was prior to Origins because the design we see now is very indicative of what you had back in June of 2019. And it's again, been changed and refined to what you have today. One of the things I want to talk about, because this is really important. Quacks came out uh, about a year ago, right? And it has some of the same mechanisms where you're putting things into a bag and you're building a unique bag that is important to you. One of the things that I love about this game is that bag building, but I really want to see more than just the powers that we saw. We played it several times, we've seen five powers. Do you guys have plans to have additional either double-sided or other chips that you're going to use? Because I think that's important because it adds variability into the way people can play. Mm -hmm. This is going to be very I don't want to say it's easy, but it's going to be approachable for people that are into these type of games. But you also want to have the meat at the end of it sure. for people that are really into these games, have some flexibility and some muscle to be able to use different types of strategies that are outside of just the five that we saw. Is that a plan for you guys? So we have we have a spreadsheet. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> we have a spreadsheet that has probably like every iteration of every single one of those that we've tried. Mm-hmm. Some of them not that some of them worked mechanically and they were fun, but they were too advanced. Mm-hmm. Like they were hard to teach along with the other four chip abilities. So those are some of the ones that we can dive into and to have a starting point to be like, well, what if only your first red rook piece in a battle counted, right? And you're like, oh no, what happens? I don't want to draw multiple of these in every battle. I want to draw one and I want it to be the six. Ooh, like how do you make that work, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so we can use those, we, we plan on using those as a starting block and then seeing how many different abilities for each, but keeping the same chip values. Okay. You know, because creatures, the way they work now is fun, because now when they exhaust, you go from a one to a five, from a five to a one, one to a five. But what if that wasn't how they worked, right? What if there was something else, something different? And I think, that, like you said, that's where the variance is going to come from. Right. We've been using these same five that you've seen multiple times now because, well, we're building a game around. We want to. We want a stable. Right. We want you know. We want building blocks to build off top of. Sure. And those are like the most stable abilities that we have. Right. I think once you add in the Wonderlandians and the the chips that come from that and the different setups that you're going to see, um, mixed with the market ally chips, mm-hmm. you're going to have a lot of that different combinations of things in your bag each game that feel unique. So mm-hmm. Yeah, I would say too that on the flip side of what you said, I feel like for me personally, the balance you guys have struck between that accessibility side of things and something that has already I think a little bit of meat on its bones, the decisions going on and the amount of analysis of what you've got going on the player board alone I think is pretty significant. And then when you mix in the Wonderlandians as they come out and how they come out, there's a lot of interesting things there yet the game still stays pretty accessible for just about anyone to get into and, mm-hmm. and try. Mm-hmm. And that's another thing on the form and function uh, front. You mentioned the Origins version. One difference I noticed is at Origins, we, when I played it, you had separate boards all mm-hmm. over the table. And I know you guys told me that that was from the standpoint of trying to make it so people could kind of like move it around and like have right. slightly different setups on their table depending on what their table looked like. This one, as simple as it was, the change to have all of those boards around the central board just makes it that much more, a, a sure. ton more accessible, I think. And I think it, it, one of the things, it just really puts a focus on Manny's art. Exactly. Because Manny's art, I mean, that board is an art piece. Sure. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's gorgeous. And so that was part of the thought process, too, is like, how do we form and function? What makes the most sense? And uh, that big board, just tying it all together. I'm always for more of Manny's art. How did the Me story too. come about, by the way? I mean, I love the backstory. It's, I don't think we've mentioned here 
talked about the backstory yeah. and why we're even fighting. I'll let Ian talk about backstory. it because him and Manny is the ones <laughs> that kind of worked on it and dreamed it up. Yeah, so we, we were trying to figure out, like, the very first image that I ever saw of this project was uh, a while ago. Let's say a while ago, right? Um, and you had had Manny do, like, a mock-up of a cover because you were like, I want an Alice in Wonderland game. You're like, I want this to happen with Manny as the artist. With Manny as the artist. Yes. And as soon as I saw that mock-up, I was like, yep, this you do want this because this is fantastic. Um, but we, like, through the, the course of, like, I, you know, ideation and brainstorming on the design, we were like, well, what if we do something unexpected? Mm-hmm. So that's where, the like, the war part came in. Well, then you have to make sense of, like, why would Wonderland be going to war? Well, a lot of it always comes down to, like, a lot of bad stuff happens whenever you go through the looking glass. So what if the breaking of the looking glass was kind of a catalyst for all of this stuff? Um, and so Alice sees the looking glass is broken. The Jabberwock is back. He's, he's no longer just a poem. No one believes he's real, but he's going to go out there and he's going to prove that he's real. <laughs> and he's going to, you know, take back what was his, you know, the wo- starting with the woods. Uh, the Red Queen, her whole thing is she's always surrounded by incompetence Mm -hmm. but what if all of a sudden all of those card soldiers that she's you know she has well what if they're actually competent for once so well she's going to seize her moment and take back what she can um and then the mad hatter he just wants to have a fun tea party and people just keep messing that up because unfortunately what happened when the looking glasses broke uh it sent shards out all throughout wonderland and madness just started leaking out so all of the madness is slowly being pulled out of Wonderland, and no one really knows why. They think it has to do with the looking glass. And we're trying to get it back. Right. And Bring back the madness. The right. Limousine. What is Mad Hatter without his tea party? Like, if everyone at his tea party is no longer mad and no longer having fun, well, he's going to do something about it. All right. So one of the things, too, that when we played a very early version of the game, there was the Cheshire Cat, who was kind of like a third party creating havoc within the world. But he's not in the game, but he's on the box. What, we didn't see him in the game. What's going on with him? You know, that's going to, if you're here on the campaign, if this is a campaign view or if it's on the internet, you're just going to want to follow the campaign. Oh. You're going to want to see how the narrative unfolds. Interesting. But he's always in the Hugs background. Hudson Tees. <laughs> right. He's always, he's always behind the scenes. Right. Sometimes you can't see him. Right. <laughs> he <laughs> might be here on set right now. Is that what you're saying? No. Is there anything else you guys want to talk about when it comes to Wonderland's War that we may have missed in the playthrough that you'd like to discuss here with the audience? Maybe my expertise strategy? <laughs> Didn't you finish last? No, I did not finish last. <laughs> I shared last place is what we decided, me and Johnny. Okay. Um, just, you know, the, I think Manny has just completely crushed the art. It's, it's, it's actually such a fresh take on Wonderland, which I think is really hard to do because yeah. it's been done so many times. And uh, it, that was alluding to what uh, Ian said earlier. I knew I wanted to do a game in this world, and I knew I wanted Manny to do it. And I mm-hmm. harassed him for two years. <laughs> Because he's like, hey, man, I'm doing this dice throne thing, and that's really where my focus is. And I'm like, cool, cool. Let me know when you've got, like, a couple months. A free minute? A free minute to work on this because, and then when I finally got him to, like, just, just draw me a cover. Like, let's just do a sample cover concept. Let's see what that looks like. And I think we all fell in love with it at that point. Okay. We all knew it. Even Manny, think, you probably admit now, he's like, he knew at that point he had to make that a thing. That's what you do to get Manny. You just have him do one piece of art, and then he falls in love with the concept <laughs> himself, and then it's off to the races, yeah. probably. Well, he, he's always enjoyed, like, if you go back and look at even all of his comics, like he's really enjoyed having a strong female protagonist yeah. and so Alice is obviously a, a natural fit for that and uh, it's just seeing him draw the artifacts and all the different Wonderlandians it's you know then, then seeing Harry Berto who does our sculpts bring those to life in the 3D sculpts like that walrus sculpt I just kind of want to cuddle it you know and just <laughs> hang right. out uh, it's it's just a, I think the production and people will be able to use this game to draw people in to play a game mm-hmm. that they would have never typically played. Yeah. For sure. When you mix all of that with like the game that you guys have designed right. and the development that you've put into it like we just discussed, yeah, I think it's a yeah, really I, good thing. I, I can't say thank you enough. You know, we've we've been at the front end of a lot of different projects, but we've had very few opportunities to follow it from beginning to yeah. end, and it's really appreciated that you guys recognize that there were problems throughout the development cycle and you guys didn't push anything to market when it wasn't ready right. this game feels developed it feels yeah. nearly done at For this sure. point there's some small things that need tweaking but what we played today was pretty much a close representation of what people are going to be playing mm-hmm. minus some minor changes and i gotta say the game is fantastic it's a really fun experience i love the tea party but i also le- love what that tea party leads to because every chip that you put into your bag is something that you're going to 
have repercussions for it during the battle. And you do that three times. So you are building a bag in a very unique way and it's very fun to do. Yeah. So anyway, that is Wonderland's War. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any questions about the game at all, make them in the comments below. Please go to their Kickstarter page to see all the final components and go to our Watch It Play to be able to see how the game is played uh, so you guys know from beginning to end how to set it up, how to play it, how to put it away and everything else. <laughs> and we will catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.